calling all non-Americans out there. And maybe some Americans. Remember when we did a tour? I do. We did a tour all across America last year. And a lot of you guys, especially outside of America, were like, damn it, I wish I could have seen it too. I wish I was in America. Hell, there might've been some Americans who missed out on it. Well, lucky you, we are releasing one of our shows just for you. Yes, we are releasing one of our shows for early access for a limited time only. And if you did want to grab some of the merch that we sold on tour, that is all going to be available for a very limited time with one or two new pieces. This is your last chance to get tour merch, guys. So if you'd like to check it out, because again, it is limited access. So get in quick, click the link down in the description below to get your tickets now. It's only available for a limited time. So don't waste it. Hey, so if you couldn't tell from the title and theming of this episode, we won't be able to show you a lot of the things that we talk about because YouTube is run by a bunch of Puritans. So if you'd like to check out the uncensored version of this episode and support us in the process, then make sure to go over to patreon.com slash trash taste. Links in the description below. What's up, DJs? Welcome back to another episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. I'm your host for today, Joey, because once, of course I'm up. the host. Okay, we didn't this plan one. this somehow, some way, whenever we have a episode themed like this, Joey just ends up being the host. It's like- We didn't plan this. Yeah. Why are you dressed so it's fancy? fancy. <laughs> Why are you well, dressed so nice? He's, I, because he's here for the culture, Connor. That's why. Come on, Connor. You, you, you can't not dress up for the hentai episode. In fact, I, I cycled here. I couldn't wear a suit. In fact, I am upset that I forgot my top hat. Yes. Like the yes. first episode we did. I'm sorry, Connor. I got the memo, okay? Actually. <laughs> uh, I, I, you didn't I even wear to, your purple up, today? Up. After watching half the stuff you told me to, I don't think I should ever. I don't get, I'm not even allowed to leave my house, <laughs> let alone. I don't even know that stuff was legal. Oh, my, anyway, okay. I'm Joey, and I'm with uh, Connor and Gone, as always. And, and uh, DJ. Jens rejoice because I we are back. Podcast. I hate this podcast. With another I episode for the culture, gentlemen. I never want to watch any of this stuff if it wasn't for you guys. I, I hate this. Actually, uh, some of the stuff that you recommended, Connor, made me regret life. Well, okay, and well, uh, well, maybe on. you want to commit right. jump king. So, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm, before you say anything, Listen, man. I. <laughs> I felt the same way. I thought I was getting something else. Okay. And then I watched it. I, you know. If you're all confused as to why we are uh, irrationally fearing uh, the inevitable, it's because is, uh, of the challenge that we were given. Yes. This is so this much less episode. fun than the other episodes. It was. It, it was. Because last time it was like, here's a bomb hentai that I recommend for the boys. <laughs> yeah. And then we just watched it. And, and we were like, okay. you know what? There was all not right. even yeah. a brief moment where I had even a semi chub doing this. <laughs> like it was yes. just all pain. Yeah. Watching this, these shows. This was all pain. So we uh, decided to mix things up from the previous episodes. Yep. Uh, the previous episode, what we did uh, in regards to hentai was that we just recommended three shows that we liked, or mm -hmm. maybe it was two shows. Let's do that again next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that again next time. We just recommended stuff that we liked. So we decided it's been a while since we've done an episode like this. Let's uh, mix things up. So each of us got two categories each that we needed to recommend a show in that category yeah. for the other boys to watch. Um, and then we would come and discuss it. And then at the end, there would be one really, really cursed show that we would all have to watch and yep. discuss. And the show that we all decided on was Euphoria. Well, I didn't. I didn't decide on it. All right. I've never seen this. We'll get into that. That's why it's the goat. <laughs> the goat. Um, um, do you want to go over what all the categories are? And then yeah. We'll, then sure. I'll, so I'll Connor in. got a milf hentai that he despised. Uh, he needed to recommend a milf hentai he despised. In case you're new to trash taste, yeah. he, he, he that usually was, likes it. That's that my was, favorite that was genre. Hard. Yeah. That, was that was hard to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he needed to recommend a hentai that made him cry. <laughs> or just really depressed. And uh, that real, was real what, that's easy. That's what, easy. watching that one was actually really, really interesting. Uh, Joey, the yeah. uh, Nihongo Josie guy got a dub hentai he actually likes. Yeah. <laughs> that was the biggest challenge yes. no, level in no, There yeah. are so many great ones. <laughs> <laughs> Which was actually pretty easy looking yeah, back. It was. Um, and he also had to recommend the ugliest bastard he's ever seen. Yeah. Which uh, I just, yeah, I mean, I really had to comb through for this one. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. And uh, that was that was a uh, that was. Whew, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I needed to recommend a hentai that awoke something in me and also an NTR hentai I actually liked. And that was, that was hard. That was, that was I, I very, did. very I, can hard. I, can I say something? I, I don't know. I, I just got given a list of shows to watch. I don't know which one of these is which for you. And I'm concerned now thinking that this could um, fit into any of those. Yeah, you know, I, I saw this list and I saw the recommendations that you guys gave to yeah. me mm -hmm. and I was like, 
Are you sure about that? <laughs> like, is this, am I watching the right show? Yes. Uh, but uh, we will get into each one uh, soon. Yes. Uh, but uh, first thoughts, mm -hmm. how was your boys experience this Awful. time? This is, this is not fun at all. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. usually- is terrible. Usually yeah. I watch hentai and I feel good. You know, for, for for the most part, you know, ninety five percent, maybe ninety percent of the I, time, I'm like, all right, this was this was enjoyable to different, you know, varying levels of of degrees. But this one was just like just sad. I don't yeah. think <laughs> I can recommend any of these shows in any capacity. <laughs> no, like I, for no, for no redeeming quality. But we're gonna try today. <laughs> we're, we're gonna try because so, we have some interesting shows. To, I, I I feel like uh, the platter that we got this time was a lot more varied than last time, uh, but I had a lot worse of a time watching yeah. these hentai. Yeah. Last time, there were a few that I'm like, I'm kind of I'm kind of digging this right yeah. now, you know? Yeah. Joey, Joey got some good recommendations. Yeah. Connor, another MILF hentai? Okay, I dig hey. that. Yeah. And now I'm just like, uh, why am I watching this? Why am I torturing myself? Yeah, uh, I am now like, I, this is basically just Sydney's channels now. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, I am not paid enough. <laughs> yeah. But so I, I, I cannot stress enough that this is probably a one that you're going to want to watch on the Patreon. Uh, yeah. This yes. is, is going to have to be a lot of bleeping, a lot of uh, yeah. self-censoring. You won't yeah. be able to see anything <laughs> that we talk about, but on the Patreon you can. Yeah, it'll be yeah. on screen. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I guess, who should, should I go first? Yeah, you can go sure. first. Let's go first. Uh, let's stop. What I think is probably the mildest. Okay. Of okay. Everything. Yeah. Right, we'll start chill. Yeah. Yeah. I think let's just, well, and even <laughs> the then, most chill. Yeah. Even then, it was weird. So I got one which was uh, name a hentai or recommend a hentai that made me cry. Or yes. Was, uh, made me sad. Yes. And I can't remember the name of this one. It took me like thirty minutes to even find the name, and then I copy and paste it and send it to you. I, I think, think it's you know called. It. It's called Oide o Mizuryu Kerando. And does that yes. mean follow me to sex Mizuryu land or something? Mizuryu land, yeah. Yeah. What it, what it, what is it? What's Mizuryu K land? Is that the author? I think Mizuryu K is the author. Oh, okay. At okay. least that's what from what I remember because when I when I looked at the title, I was like in Japanese, I was like that doesn't really mean anything. It's just like the name of the amusement park. Yeah. So, like, so I, I guess I'll I'll explain the the opening. Sure. Of yes. How this show works. Explain the premise of this show <laughs> of, of this hentai. Uh, okay. <laughs> So yeah. uh, there is a land, a theme park. Think of it, uh, uh, you know, your fa favorite theme park. Now imagine if instead of that and rides that you could ride, you could ride other people. Uh, and the whole aspect of this park was to sleep or engage with fun activities with the other people there. Yes. And that was kind of the premise. And then two boys are like, yo, let's go. Yeah. Let's, go to, let's go to the land. <laughs> well, boys trip. <laughs> boys, boys. <laughs> However, in real, and then obviously we also see uh, two female characters who are also yeah. interested. One of them- I think it was three, it, right? Yeah. Okay, three, one of them, yeah. you know, they're all different personalities. One of them's a bit more shy, yeah. but like, oh, I don't know, oh, I don't yeah. know. One of them's a bit like, oh, I, I'm ready. I'm ready to get down and dirty. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go dicko mode. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and so obviously in real life, this happened, it would be a sausage and yes. yeah, actually turn into yeah. a, a grinder world. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Somehow it's uh, equally it's distributed more, in more, terms of yeah. like both yeah. girls and boys. Yeah, it's, every, every, it's the most well-managed theme park in existence. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually made notes this time. That's good. I well. wish I made notes. I, yeah. I was so okay. annoyed that yeah. I didn't want to write any notes <laughs> and, and literally my first, the first note I made was finally a way to get Joey to enjoy Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that your note? Why is that? Because Joey know. hates theme parks. I do. Joey hates theme parks, and I was like, "Oh, finally a theme park that Joey and okay. Joey would enjoy." Let's let's talk the first five minutes of the show. Sure. Okay. I was kind of I was kind of into the premise. I was kind of like I was right. kind of like I thought, yeah, yeah this I, I'm into this. Yeah, I they this they explain they explain the theme park. And animation was yeah. solid as well. Animation, good animation character designs were solid. I, 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 will, I will say because I, like going into this, obviously mm. the category was a hentai that made you cry, and I was like, this is this is really fucking vanilla for like, where the, where's, the, where's the crying coming, man? Where, yeah. where's the crying coming? And- I, uh, Yeah, like like I was saying earlier, like, you know, some sometimes I I, I looked at the show and I looked at the, the, the category, I guess, that I fit mm -hmm. in. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm watching this correct show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I finished episode one of this and I was like, what made me cry? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 hold, what? On, yes. hold on. I had the exact same reaction. I was like, my, dude, my, my my eyes were drier than a desert. There was not a single tear welling up at what? any yeah. point. Does this, this make thing. you feel like sad? Not really. Dude, I, I, felt, fact, I, I felt so empty when I, I finished it. I was like, that is the saddest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. Dude, if anything, all the other shows made me feel sad. I, okay. I, I was, yeah, I would agree with that. I, okay, okay, okay. But anyway, go on, go yeah, let's, let's explain the yeah, plot. Yeah. So, so there's two boys, 
on a bus and there's three girls on the same bus. They don't know yeah. each other yet. All right, yeah, but but yeah. the boys are like, "Yo, tits out for the boys, let's go." We're about to we're about to go dicko yeah. mode, and mm. the girls are like, "All right, you know, we got a friend who's like, you know, hasn't done this before, but yeah. you know what? We'll we'll ease her into this yeah, theme park." Yeah, yeah. and uh, the explanation in the theme park and how it worked, I was like, "Oh, this is legit." <laughs> like this is this is the most this is the best management of theme parks I've ever had. Yeah, <laughs> this theme park runs better than Disneyland does. <laughs> Somehow they got an entire like sticker system in this theme park. You yep. have like three tiers. So you can either have like a sticker that says you're okay with kissing. Uh, yeah, and then right, there's right. a sticker that says you're okay with touching. And then there's a sticker that says full on penetration, baby, yeah. let's go. Yeah. And of course no one does the kissing sticker. We, we don't we don't follow kisses here. Every, everyone right. goes for like full on dicko mode right oh, here. Um, and then yeah. And everyone's wearing like the weirdest outfits. Oh yeah, the, the dude's outfits was so yeah, strange. It was I'm like, so bizarre because they're wearing this like it. it the only thing, I, the only way I can describe it is like you know that bikini that Borat wears. Yeah, they were wearing that. Except imagine that, but the dick is just fully out. Yeah, and then the one of the dudes wearing like chapless pants. <laughs> yeah, it's just his ass is just out or something. It's just like all right. Sure. Do you know, do you, do you know what? I guess I, you got on the bus here yeah, wearing that. Do you know what I found really weird? So it was that scene where they were like explaining what was going on in the theme park, right? Yeah. And these dudes are just having a normal conversation. And one of the dudes is just like casually jacking off while he's like <laughs> oh, talking to yeah. the other dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's just having a bro talk and one of them no, is just were, like- You were just talking to your best friend, <laughs> yeah. playing with your dick. Yeah. Like, Don't worry about it, bro. And, and, I, and I was like, I was watching this. I was like, this is just next level onsen. You know, yeah. this is what happens if you go to a non no. you like- no, you don't play with, We don't play with your dick, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the onsen, all three boys pop a Viagra and one of them, and we're just like, yo, boy, how, how's, how yeah, how's, how's it been so far, yo, man? How's, it been, how's your trip been so far, it's man? so weird. <laughs> I was just like- It's it was, like, I think, I think what made it, like, I think what made it kind of weird is, is how they explained the rules in a way that would feel a bit more realistic. Mm. Cause a lot of hentai just doesn't even bother trying to even remotely explain the world. Yeah, right. right. They're like, you're in the same world, except this guy's a chat or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of shit. Uh, I think that's what, what was kind of like, all right, okay. Kind of, I was kind of like precarious, but I was like, all right, well, it seems kind of well, Okay, uh, speaking on that though, what I did find was kind of like, okay. It was, subverted my expectations a lot. It, it did, it did. For <laughs> in a weird way. <laughs> In a lot. I didn't, this, this I didn't is, expect is, for it to go where it went. This is the most I've ever seen Connor analyze any piece of media. <laughs> I, I think this is the first time I've ever heard the word Connor Subvert subverting, my subverting my expectations. Well, listen, it's a, it's a, the thing with with modern day of this kind of stuff. If you yeah. watch, let's say, live action western of this production. Yes, right, yes, yes, yes. Um, you know exactly when you drop that time bar, you know roughly what you're gonna be on when you yeah. let go. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. With this one, I was like, where is this going? Like, wh what is, the I thought this dude mm. was gonna get some, gonna go wild. That is not what happened. That yeah. is not what happened at all. Yeah. So we have two two different groups and the first scene, I'm, <laughs> the first scene. I don't even remember, do, they, do they have names? I don't even know their names. I, I don't know the, the names. Uh, the, the main guy and the main girl did, I believe, but yeah. at this point, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So the main guy and the main, main girl are both like, kind of like, this is their first time at that theme park. And their friends are like veterans, they've been in. Yeah, before. and they're like, the kind of like, ooh, kind yeah, of nervous yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. And so the first, the first big scene takes place on a Ferris wheel. Where what happens? By the is way, there's a brilliant fucking pun in the Japanese version okay. when it shows up because it, in in Japanese, uh, Ferris wheel is called a kandansha, mm -hmm. right? Right. But they changed the kanji of kan and dan mm -hmm. to normally it means like you know um, viewing uh, spinning. Yeah. Wheel, yeah. Yeah. Right. In, in, in this anime, <laughs> they changed. It still says kandansha, but now it's the kanji for rough fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It's like, go on to the kandansha, the rough fuck mobile. And, so and I'm like, Holy okay, shit. that's brilliant. That's brilliant. You Holy thought about shit. that yeah, one. That was yeah, like, yeah. The, the Japanese people understand Holy that shit. one. That's, a, that's an epic Easter egg in that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so the first scene is uh, two random people get on this Ferris wheel in like so one two of- two main characters, yeah, right? So, yes. so the two main characters end up seeing each other and they've seen each other before. They see they see each other briefly um, on the bus. On yeah. the bus. Yeah, like, at, the, like the Zoolander meme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It was like>. <laughs> 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 yeah. They see each other on the bus and of course they meet on the Ferris wheel 
Um, and I think for like, of, of course they do the deed. Um, and I think for him, he's just, he, he is in the wrong fucking place, man. He's this, in love with this girl. This man went to a soap land to look for a wife, man. Yeah, That's, yeah. 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 He, he, he like, it's, I think he just instantly like falls for this girl yep. in the Ferris wheel or even maybe on the bus, yeah. right? Yeah. And they seem to have some chemistry going together. And we we you only know? see his perspective. Yeah, really. we only see, yeah, we yeah, really see his perspective. And you know, it's all pretty, I'd say vanilla stuff. Not Nothing I haven't seen out of yep. the ordinary. Mm -hmm. It's just a casual, casual orgy every now and again. You know, there is a weird- just a casual orgy. There is, there is a weird scene before <laughs> this where one of the girls is getting their vaginas cleaned and I'm just like- Oh, oh. that's one thing I wanted to say, right? Like, so they explain like the rules of the theme park, right? Where yeah. it's like, oh, you have to wear a sticker. And it's like, and one part I thought was weird was like, okay, so, uh, so that diseases don't spread all the guys and girls have to get checked and like the girls have to get like cleaned out by this like fucking special hose. What the fuck? Yeah. And, and, and I just looked at that. I'm like, that's copium because <laughs> everyone knows by the end of it, you are diseased up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, there's no helping. Like, this is this is just like nothing's gonna g come out of this. Yeah. yeah. Look, we we we. This is a fantasy world. It's a fantasy. It's, like, it's, it's like a fantasy. If everyone on Craigslist have had money. And, yeah. they all pulled, and they all pulled together to make a Craigslist location IRL. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and so things start getting weird where it basically turns to a kind of swingers party, right? Yeah, we're like yes. two two of the groups. Yeah. yeah. Like one, one experienced guy, one experienced girl, and then the two main people who are yeah. the, the yeah. girl and the guy who can- Yeah, this. the newbies. Yeah. 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 And uh, through the, throughout the course of this show, the girl turned from like being this, ooh, I'm a shy, innocent, cute girl to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like really perverted. And yeah. uh, I kind of I'm like- secret like this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, it's she has two wolves inside of her, you know. <laughs> uh, and uh, during the swinger scene is when we see right. we see the darker wolf inside of yeah, the second yeah. girl, right? So they 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 both start off, you know, with their respective partners that they found from this uh, from this Ferris wheel, and then they start doing the deed next to each other. I, I knew where it was going to go as well. And I was yeah, like, they they yeah. basically do a wife swap. Essentially, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's and you know, he the the main character's having a lovely time. Of course, he's uh banging this girl. They have chemistry together, <laughs> and then uh, and then the swap happens. Yeah, yeah so they, they swap because one of the, uh, I guess the other two feel done, and they're like, yeah. Let's swap, yeah, yeah. And then they spice swap, things up, and you're like, no, 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 this dude doesn't want to swap. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Oh, Is that what made you sad? It made me sad because it's like. You're watching porn, but you're watching like the realest, like saddest emotion where it's like this dude is just in this situation. He doesn't want to be in listening to the girl he likes one foot away from him getting pounded and she's enjoying it more with him yeah. Yeah. than she is with, with, uh, with, the, with the other guy, sorry, yeah. himself. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, how am I supposed to jack off to this? Like this guy's just getting sat. Like this guy is just distraught. Like, he's just realizing that the girl he like fell for and the girl he lost his virginity to yeah. is just loving getting pounded by this other guy yeah. who's clearly way better at this than him. Yeah. And he doesn't know. And then this other girl is like consoling him. <laughs> The one who like was just had it rough. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. don't worry, man. Some people just like it a little chill. Yeah. And he's like, don't worry. Some people like it that you're a little bitch and that you don't know what you're doing. And it's yeah. like, this is just, this is just the saddest thing. Why am I, why am I okay, watching this? Okay, now that this? you put that into that context, I understand why this is in this category. And it's yeah. like, how the fuck am I supposed to get off to this? When all I'm thinking is, dude, this is like, at least if it was some absurd, kind of stupid plot, I would mm. be like, all right, whatever. But like, it's just like, just sad. Like a sad <laughs> thing that could just, well, that could happen. Uh, I mean, is it, is, huh. it, is it a crazy that like, uh, we look at a show like this and we explain a plot like this and we're like, this isn't absurd. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like compared, <laughs> comparatively, yeah, like, comparatively, comparatively right, the, the like, thing that they're trying to show, I'm like, why are you, why are you trying to convey this? Yeah. Like, what do you get from this? Yeah. This, like, the, this the the thing that made me uncomfortable about this is that it's it is NTR. This is essentially NTR, yes. but it's it's it's, it's soft not, enough. It starts vanilla and then kind of goes NTR. I, I think it's NTR. At least with NTR, I'm like. I'm like, yeah, this is just fucking, this is just dumb. This is just stupid right. and it's like, yeah, yeah. it's unrealistic. But the thought of liking a girl, then maybe it turns out she doesn't like you as much as you thought. But that's, that's the thing. It's NTR that hits, 
A little no, too no, close. No, if you're like together, like yeah, yeah. they weren't together. That's what they, makes they, it even they sadder. They won. They won. But that's the, what makes it even sadder. But the thing, but the thing that hits a little too close to home is that he they weren't together. But he liked that girl a little too much and a little too quickly. Yeah. You know, like he was he was out of his depth. He should. Yeah. He probably shouldn't yeah. even been there. Exactly. Like he knew he was gonna get hurt. Yeah. And it's just sad. Yeah. It's just sad. <laughs> how do you not? How did you watch that and be like, I feel nothing? How? Yeah. How? Because I think I looked at it and I compared it to every. Every other NTR I've seen, and I'm like, yeah. it gets sadder. <laughs> it can get sadder, but it gets, but it gets more absurd, and that's where yeah. it loses me because right. I'm yeah. so disassociated. No, from I it. get that. Yeah. It's like everyone can relate to the feeling of maybe you liked someone, yes. and yeah. maybe they turned out to like someone yes. else. Yeah, right? exactly. That's, I, I think that's I a think very, this, very uh, a human thing that yeah. most people have experienced. I think the saving grace for me is that it's only one episode, so you're yeah. not yeah. as invested in these characters. Thank God. I mean, if, <laughs> if that happened at like episode three, then yeah. I'd be yeah. like, oh, this is thank God this was a 15 minute episode yeah. as well. It's, it's two episodes, but the second episode has nothing to do with those characters. No, no. Oh, thank really? God. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, um, okay. And, yeah. But like, yeah, it's just like, oh my it's just so fucking sad, man. Yeah, because it's so sad. I think the saddest thing is that this guy is basically just having a therapy session wow, as, his, yeah. as his trauma is happening next to him, yeah. right? The, the girl that he fell for is just like having a just like having the time of his having the time of her life. Because the worst thing is that she said, "Oh, you know, I like you as well. You know, I feel like we have a connection." And then five minutes later, she's fucking getting railed by this other guy who's <laughs> doing a completely better job. And and this girl is just like, oh, don't worry. Uh, uh, it's not the size that matters. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And, I guess the, and I guess the extra like sad part is that like, that was his bro. Yeah, yeah. That, like, like this is the dude that's like, yeah, bro, we're, we're gonna have a great time together. Like, you should have gone awesome. to his boy and been like, hey man, I, I really like that girl. I really don't want to do yeah, this. Yeah, but yeah. then also like, I don't know. It's fucking stupid. It's so stupid. It was. Yeah. It was. Stupid. But it, it is to me like it is framed in a way that uh, it it is kind of the guy's fault for just going to this fault. place. Yeah, he it's went his fault. Fault. yeah. Because like even like the girl he fell for, she said. Going to this place, looking for some, looking for a connection, is gonna get you hurt because <laughs> people here are not here for that fucking. Yeah, it's totally on yeah. him, right? Yeah. But you sympathize because you kind of follow him. Yeah, and yeah, and you can you can all sympathize with liking someone who didn't like you. Yeah, back. yeah, of and, course. Then, and then the worst, the worst fucking thing, the worst, the worst thing is after this happens, after she finishes getting railed and obviously has a pen <laughs> in front of him, in front of him, after all that trauma is happening. They have like a heart to heart as well, right? He, he asks her out. Oh, he oh yes, that was, the, that was the saddest thing. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> just, I just lost, I just- I, I Yeah, how, like, he, how <laughs> pathetic, how <laughs> pathetic do you have to be to watch that, feel those emotions be like, can we still please be together? That's true. Yeah. And, and then, then doesn't and she then, say yes? No, no, like, no. Yeah. As, as he's confessing and like trying to, uh, trying to profess to this girl that like, no, no, like this is legit. Like I actually connect with you on an emotional level. She's like, would you still love a girl who loves getting dicked down by random dudes? And he's like, hell yeah, babe. Yes. And I'm like, don't do it, bro. He's like, yes, yeah, single tear. <laughs> I so, still love you. Like it's so pathetic and it's so sad. Like I bro, I wanted to fucking cry after watching it. I'm like, that is the saddest shit I've ever seen. Like yeah. how how pathetic do you have to be? And what a what a what a skeptical and sad way of viewing relationships. It's yeah. like this 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 series was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like if you made this like what is What's going on? Why? It's, What's going through your head? It's it's like the man huffed so much copium he could like huff the entire atmosphere of Earth. Like it's <laughs> he was I don't know what he was thinking when he just said, "Oh yeah, I just uh, obviously just have trauma. I just saw the girl get dicked down. Let's let's ask her out. Let's say yeah, this is so the perfect fun. time to confess my love to so this pathetic. girl." Oh. <laughs> Just okay, yeah. Now, when you put it in that perspective, it makes sense. Yeah. How, did you, how did you watch that and feel nothing? Uh, because again, uh, uh, my mind has just been corrupted by all the NTR I've seen, and I'm like, it can get worse. I, no, NTR's just fucking weird. It can I, get sad. I, I gotta say, it's not the most fucked up thing I've no, seen. It's not, it's not the up. saddest thing I've seen, but it was just kind of like it's it, too real. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't too real. It followed a character that you every. I, th I think it's the main character, right? Cause yeah. I think we've all known someone like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. it was someone right. who innocently gets into bad situations sometimes mm -hmm. and someone who maybe falls for a girl a little too fast. Yeah. And you're like, you you try to tell them, bro, don't do it. Okay, this is bad for you. Don't do it. And they do it anyway. Oh, uh, also I just remembered as well, like after he confesses, and like after she does like all of the, yeah, but do you still love me if X, Y, Z? And they decide to have intercourse again. Then she's like, it's so funny. 
we don't even know each other's names. <laughs> <laughs> As he's inserting, she's like, I don't even know your name. <laughs> that is weird. And I'm like, bro, you got oh, yeah. everything out of whack. Like <laughs> everything is out of order here. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I, I, honestly, like, I don't know why she said yes as well. Uh, yeah. She's, she, they're both, they both suck. Yeah. yeah. They both suck as human beings. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, she's obviously, I don't even know if she's like consciously leading him mm. on. This, we've done this into a fucking character study, by the way. <laughs> The uh, only chat in this is the woman who got railed and then just kind of like sympathetic towards oh, the blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, yeah, she's like the only- No, no the, only, the only giga chat in that show was the fucking blonde girl who was getting dicked down by three dudes at the <laughs> yeah, beginning. It's just yeah. like, just just leave me be, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm yeah, good, yeah, you, yeah, you guys yeah. go have fun. You know, at, at least the girl was sympathetic to this innocent kid, you know, and <laughs> and and try to like talk him down. But at that point it's like, what what can you say? What can you say yeah, to, to Bro, quell he's down the fire? Man. He's, he's too far gone. Man's too gone. far gone. Man. I don't know, man. I don't even feel like she was being sympathetic. She just literally just did like a GG no re. Like, <laughs> <laughs> close like don't worry about it, bro. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's whatever, you tried. <laughs> yeah. I mean, happily, like I, I did end up watching the second episode as well. Yeah, um, which is very different. Just cause I was like curious, is there to, is there a happy ending to this story? There yeah. is no happy ending to this story because it's a completely different story. Right. Um, The second episode focuses on like a group of idols at yeah, this show. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. weird. What? And you get it, one thing that actually impressed the fuck out of me, right? Is yeah. okay, the the um the premise of the episode is that there's a group of idols that perform at this theme park and mm. of course they have a kind of like handshaking kind of event. Except it ain't handshaking. It is uh it a, is uh, a dicking down. The dicking down yeah. event where right. you get one minute per per handshake or per dick shake. Let's oh my say. god. Um, but what, what one thing that really fucking impressed me, they made a full on idol song for this, man. What? <laughs> they made a full on idol song for episode two. I'm like, where are you getting this production values from, man? Yeah, like the what? whole show looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's really well done. Oh no, yeah. The animation was good. Character designs were good. Which makes me more angry because it could have been in a, in a good MILF form. And so we got this. <laughs> It's always NTR, man. It's yeah. always NTR that gets the good shit. The one yeah. time where you're like, where's Queen B at? Yeah. We, the, the, when we needed him most, he disappeared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I did I didn't cry towards this, but I will say no, I, I didn't feel cry, I just felt like I felt depressed. I felt it was depressed. sad. It was literally yeah. the 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 you know that that image that's popular, the one with the scribbled in dude who's like that's how made me that's how it made me feel. Like yeah. I was just like, why, right, dude? <laughs> Oh now for me, it was the horse on the beach with a man. <laughs> yeah, man. That's how I felt after that one. I was like, man, fuck. Very much was like, bro, oh, did you really? Yeah, come did on, you man. really? Come on. So don't watch it. Yeah, don't, uh, don't, 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 don't watch that. Don't want that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are interrupting this program for a very special announcement because this video is sponsored by Boxer. It is the month of March, which means it's time for Sakura season. And thankfully the Sakuras, the cherry blossoms have started to bloom in Japan. But it's also understandable that a lot of you can't be here in Japan right now to enjoy the cherry blossom season. And so that's why Boxu is here to give you guys a little taste of Japan in the comfort of your own home. Boxu delivers the experience of tasting authentic Japanese snacks, candies, and tea sourced directly from centuries old small family businesses right to your door. Their mission is to empower Japan's traditional snack makers by sharing their authentic food and stories with the world. And you better believe that this month we have the Sakura story box filled with all sorts of Sakura themed as well as cherry blossom viewing snacks and tea pairings. For example, we have one of my favorite Sakura themed snacks, Sakura mochi. Look at this thing. It's like if Kirby turned into a snack. Oh. They say the perfect snack doesn't exist. Well, I just happen to find it. And why not wash it down with this month's tea pairing? This is the Kagoshima Chirancha, which is a special type of green tea that is made specifically in the Kagoshima prefecture. So if you'd like to experience just a little bit of the Sakura season from the comfort of your own home and support the show in the process, then make sure to go down to the link in the description below to get yourself your own box suit. And make sure to use our coupon code TRASHTASTE at checkout to get $15 off your box suit order. Thank you to Boxu for sponsoring this episode. This episode of Trash Taste is sponsored by Gamersops. Let's be honest. Sugar is a thing of the past. If you need an energy drink with zero crashes, zero sugar, and tastes amazing, then Gamersups is for you. That's right, this just in, I'm receiving this correctly. This is zero calorie energy formula and it's keto and diabetic friendly. It's a guilt-free energy drink that you can drink throughout the day and it keeps you calm and alert. And if you don't need energy, you can just cut out all that sugary crap and replace it with this. Right here, I have the titty milk flavor. And yes, you heard that correctly, titty milk. Uh, and for some reason, 
It tastes good. And they have some other weird flavors like guacamole gamer fart. I'm, am I reading that out correct? I, I, I am indeed. Okay, well, that way, if you would like to try that, that then please use the link in the description down below. And let us know down below if you'd like any other weird flavors that we might make ourselves. And if you want to try some of this product, they will ship you a free sample pack that will ship worldwide and it's on us. Just order completely free. So if you want to get some free samples yourself or you want to grab some of the titty milk, check out gamersubs.gg slash trash taste and use coupon code trash taste to get free shipping for your sample pack. That is gamersubs.gg slash trash taste. Back to the episode. Speaking of NTR, I guess we're, we're just, let's just continue the NTR train because I had to recommend an NTR I actually enjoyed. Okay. Uh, and I recommended them. Uh, what's the name again? There's all Netorare Zuma. Netorare Zuma, which yeah. means anti yard wife. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I remember. Okay, hold up. All right. Okay. okay. Why did you choose this one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, for the record, I fucking despise NTR. I, I, we I, do. I think we yeah, all do. I, yeah. I think. I think. I think we all despise NTR. Yeah. Right. And I remember the first time I saw <laughs> this. I was like, the name has Netorare in the name. Yeah. There is no fucking possibility this can end well. I'm surprised you even clicked play with the title. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also surprised. <laughs> yeah. But the reason I the the reason this is the closest thing I've come to an NTR. I've come. I've come. <laughs> <laughs> what, the reason why this is the closest thing I've found to an NTR I enjoy is because I was fucking happy that this dude got NTR'd. Right. <laughs> This dude, <laughs> this dude pissed me the fuck off. Like the, the dude that gets NTR'd actually like pissed me off. Do you, want to, do you want to explain the premise? Okay, so the premise is, okay. So there is there is a main guy, the main girl obviously, and mm. they're a married couple. Mm. And the dude is an idol fan, right? Which, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the yeah, dude yeah. is an idol fan mm -hmm. and he is obsessed with this one idol, yes. right? <laughs> he is so obsessed that he he found his wife because his wife reminds him of this one idol. Like they're identical. Yeah, looking. They're, they're, they're almost identical looking. It's so yeah. fucked up. And when, they're having, uh, and when they're having sex, he doesn't refer to his wife by his wife's name. He refers to her as his idol's name, his favorite and idol's like name. role play yeah. manager and like producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're a naughty <laughs> idol, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He is, essentially he's incapable of getting hard unless she role plays as his favorite idol, yeah. right? And I'm like, that's fucked up. What a fucker. <laughs> that shit. I'm, I, I remember seeing that. And I'm like, she deserves better. And of course, one day his like one of his one of his friends comes over and she explains the situation that she's in. Yeah. And of and of course he's like, well, if you want if you want if you want a man to treat you right, I'm right here. It's the first time I've ever seen an NTR, and I'm like, wow, the guy NTRing has the right opinion. <laughs> no. Where, yeah, where no, he's like, where he's like, no. no, because at the beginning when she's like, yeah, so my husband and I do this thing when we have intercourse and he's like, wow, that's fucked up. And I'm like, you know what? Kind of agree. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think that everyone is fucked up in this in this show. Yeah, of course. I think yeah. uh, the wife probably, uh, I mean, she should have left him straight out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but like, did you really marry the guy who was only into you because you <laughs> yeah, look like a, uh, yeah. like I I feel like that's a little bit on you. I'm like, how did you not? Did you not think about that before you signed those like you know marriage papers? Like, <laughs> yeah. did this I never guess, come I up in I, conversation? I, I'm looking, to, oh, obviously, we're looking way too much into this. <laughs> yeah, um, and I am because we're reviewing it. <laughs> yes, um, but it, man, I, man, it was bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, there's, there's a uh, the. <laughs> The fact that it had to be his like friend, like his 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 childhood friend who comes over. And this dude is clearly a scumbag. Yeah, of course. Like, this guy's he has a, the scumbag. Yeah, they, they, like, yeah. they, they give him the traditional anime the, scumbag. The tanned uh, yeah. blonde and the tanned skin and blonde hair, yeah, which yeah. is tradition. If there are two things that speak NTR, ugly bastard and tanned blonde hair. Fuck boy. I don't know, fuck the fuck yeah, boy. Yeah. Like, right? I don't know why, I don't know why. It and just- it's like, this is you, the, you the idol guy, this is your childhood friend? <laughs> This guy? <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I was questioning. I'm like, really? where, how did you guys become friends? Like, mm -hmm. is he like a former idol fan, or like, did you just see him on the streets, or yeah. like, what? Like, what is the connection? Yeah, here? and then, and then, so yeah, like, obviously, uh, the they're having uh, dinner together, and the the main guy 
uh, the husband passes out. As, yeah, as he does, and as he does, because he's, he's like drunk. Yeah, Water. and then uh, they start talking. The the wife and the friend. Yeah, and obviously they explain, and yep. obviously he's like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And yeah. instead of just having it as "Bro, what the fuck," he's like, "Bro, what the fuck." Let me get in on that. Thing. Let me <laughs> let me show you. I have a radical solution. Yeah. <laughs> and like, and so they just start doing it, and it's like, okay, I mean, I guess, but they start doing it in front of him sleeping, and then if that's one thing I've never understood about like not just NTR hentai, but like even NTR like JAVs. Yeah, right. Because that's such a common situation. It's also normal important. Like there's yeah. an obsession yeah. with people sleeping. And yeah. I don't know. I think it's the forbidden aspect of it. But why yeah. does it have to be that? Yeah, and I'm like, how are you not waking up? That's what I've that's, always that's wondered. A, okay, because there, there are- I get the chlorophyll there are like, thing, but like, you know, which is sometimes happens. The, the what? <laughs> the, you get the what? You know, when you get like, what? when you get chlor, I, well, you know, when you get chloroformed and you just like knock the fuck out. I, but it's like, I never oh, thought I'd hear that article. I get the chloroform yeah, thing, I get but the, the sleeping thing, yeah. that's a bit too far. I'm like, how deep can your sleep be? Yeah. Where where your wife is getting railed literally centimeters from your yeah, face. Well, yeah. And you're just like, well, yeah. no, 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 he's sweet dreams. This dude is railing her so hard. That yeah. her, you know, her, um, I don't know how to describe it, juices are going on his face and he's not waking up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, am I supposed to be turned on by this? <laughs> Cause I'm just suspending every disbelief that this guy is asleep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean- I was I, screaming at our we, monitor like, wake up, <laughs> wake up! You know, I- It I, would have been so much more fun if he you woke know, up. No, I kind of wish he woke up. I would have been yeah. so much I, better. You know, because like, I, I'm. this is, the reason I recommended this was because this is the one NTR that unfortunately doesn't have an episode two. And I wanted this to happen episode two. Cause yeah, you know no. what? I'm, I watched this and I'm like, they did not go far enough. I need what? to Fuck off. I need to see this fucking guy in tears crying. <laughs> listen, okay. Listen, okay. Right. I agree. They did not I, go no, far listen, enough, I all right? I agree he sucks. But I don't think he deserves that. <laughs> In, he's in just a, he's just a dick. I, I feel this show is like in the five stages of grief, we're still in the denial phase, right? <laughs> yeah. Like we never quite this get guy, to the other yeah, stages. This guy doesn't deserve the wife, but I don't think he deserves to have his whole life shattered in front of him. <laughs> I, you know, that's-, that's Yes, he does. Do you know what? Do you know what? <laughs> Why? Do you know what? He's an idol fan. Oh, <laughs> right, Any okay. day we can make an idol fan's life worse, I feel better. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah. That but is seriously, it, don't you, do that. When you put it like that, I mean, <laughs> no. I just, I just, the dialogue was weird. Like they were in a full on conversation while going at it. Yeah. And she's like, we should, we should become, Sex friends, and it's like what? It's and just, he's like, okay, dude, no. just break up with your oh, husband. No, my yeah. favorite, my favorite thing about it is like at the end when like uh, when it finishes, and then there's that final scene of the husband, you know, doing the same thing to the wife, right? Yeah. But this time the wife is like, all I have to do is build up my frustration, and I'll be able to release it. I'm like. What is this like? This is like the Pokemon move bide. You know, where you just like wait five turns yeah, and you just yeah. unleash it all. It's like, that's not how that works. It's like, it's like why why are you, what are you, what are you getting from this? Just get out of this goddamn yeah, marriage Yeah, just fucking woman. get yeah. the divorce papers, bro. I mean, I agree. She should uh, never have ended up with this guy in the first place. But you know, as as the married man here, I'd be like, you know, if I did that to Sydney, fuck, like I I don't deserve Sydney. You know, like like who? Wait, does, wait, no, who you, aren't you doing that though? She looks like the anime character. What's that one? Marion. Yeah, isn't he just doing that with Marion? Uh, excuse me, we've been dating for eight years uh, actually. Like, actually. Say the thing. Say the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, I just, I'm just like, I don't know why you would want to be with a girl. If if you want to be with a girl just because she reminds you of someone else, you're a fucking beta, man. You you deserve you deserve bad things to happen yeah. to you. And you know what? I I watched this and I was like, I'm fucking happy the NTR is happening. <laughs> In fact, they're not going far enough. This guy should have woken up. He should have got his dream I, shattered. I, I believe he should have woken up. Yeah, because I think the ensuing. <laughs> Plot would have been more exciting. Oh than, yeah, you because know, I, I I feel like what was I, I feel like really disappointed because they obviously set themselves up for an episode two. They mm. obviously set themselves up for a sequel where they like mind break this guy. Yeah, right? mind break, mind break this fucking beta, and what? then they yeah. didn't do it. And then they didn't do it. I'm like, this is the one time I've actually wanted a sequel to an NTR, and you don't give it to me. You don't give it to me. Why, Come on, guy. Why do people like mind break? <sighs> That's why, a do people like mind question, <laughs> why do people like, like mind why, break? Why do people want to see a man like just 
entire world. No, no, no. My mind, mind, mind break, I think goes like both ways. So there's like, you know, when the girl has a mind break where like the sex is so good, it like oh, breaks oh. their mind. Yeah. And then like, in I, I mean, I used the wrong terminology, but there's just like NTR where you just, like, it's, it's not, depressed. that's, that's yeah. not mind break. That's just depression. Yeah, that's <laughs> just like fucking ruins someone's life. That's like, just, that's just, yeah, it ruins yeah. Why are people life. into that? There's <laughs> a difference between mind break and mental break. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I need a fucking mental break after watching half these shows. <laughs> It was so bad. It was so bad. I, I, it was just painful watching it. It was so yeah. boring. Yeah. It was so shit. Spe just, speaking of mental break, uh, let's let's go on to the, my first one, which was uh, the one that has an ugly bastard in it. Because oh, uh, I definitely oh, had a fucking God. mental breakdown after I watched this one. I, I had a mental breakdown on two separate occasions. Yeah. What was one, your challenge again? So my, I had Name to the ugliest one, bastard The ugliest you've bastard ever I've seen. seen. Yes. Um, and trust me, uh, whether I like it or not, when you're when you're perusing through the, the the wide world cesspool of hentai, you will come across ugly bosses, whether you like it or not. Yes. And uh, and so I was like, all right, what's the worst one? And so I went with uh, a, a hentai called um, "Sore de Motsuma o Ice Did It," yeah. which is in Japanese it means "Even Still I Love My Wife." <laughs> And oh. this 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 is actually pretty confusing because when you recommended it, there are actually like two two of these, right? Yes. This this is actually so there's it. so there's a so there's a sort of one <laughs> with multiple episodes, and yeah. then there's a second season mm. with, with multiple characters. episodes. Yeah, with different characters. With different yeah. characters. Yeah. I, so we yeah. were supposed to watch one, but I actually watched both as well. Oh really? And I regret it. Yeah. So and so I so I rec recommend I I recommend the second one, the second season because yeah. uh, it has- Not the has, second episode, the second yeah. season. Second season. Yeah. yeah. Two really episodes of the second yeah. season. <laughs> um, because it has an ugly bastard, which I'm sure if you've been on any Twitter before, you've definitely seen the ugly bastard in this when picture. I saw him, yeah. I did do the Wojak meme. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that's that's the that's what I mean when I said I had two different types of mental breakdowns. Yeah, yeah. One because the show was just goddamn horrible, and two because I was like, oh my god, this is where this guy comes from. I've seen this image of this motherfucker so many times. This is the one. Um, so basically, also uh, the other mental breakdown I had was just how convoluted the plot. Dude, got. I I had man, it's like you know when you read a book yeah. and you read a line, you're like. I gotta take that in again. I yeah, I did that so many times, and I was so confused. So, 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 if I can remember correctly, there is a, a, a husband and a wife. All right, and, yeah, and are they and they're already and they are teacher. Yeah, and, and so the, the student yeah. or work. No, 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 no. So, oh my god. So there is a husband and a wife. The wife is a teacher at a college. Yeah, right. And the college teacher, the wife is in cahoots with one of her students who looks exactly like her husband. But uh, but her husband also looks like a kid as well. But her husband also looks like a kid. Like a, it's yeah. so confusing. Yeah. yeah, it's like a younger version of her husband. Yeah. But this, basically, there is, she's in. She, so while like he's on a fucking business trip, or no, 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 no. She goes to work at a different school far <laughs> I'm away. To break this down. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, so the wife goes to work far away at the school. But they're still married. Yeah, but they're, they're still, still married. married. Yeah. But because she's far away, she sees this student that looks exactly like her husband and goes like, you know, I feel a bit lonely at work because we're always so busy. Literally like one minute in. One yeah, minute like in. One minute in. Yeah. And, and the guys and the student is like, don't worry, teach, I, I, I got you, bro. Yeah. And then they start, and basically the Go husband, downtown. the husband yeah. gets NTR. Yeah. Right? And then there's this weird like B plot when it goes to the husband's perspective. Well, because yeah, there's this other girl who's introduced and she's kind of friendly with him. Yeah. Uh, and that doesn't really go anywhere. For a while, until I mean, she we, drugs him yeah, at a yeah. bar. Yeah, the, at the yeah. end of the episode, she drugs him, and then it cuts. But yeah. but like that's right at the end. Yeah, but like yeah. obviously. But basically, so basically, the wife and the, and the teacher having uh, and the student are having this like very secret, intimate relationship, and the owner of the apartment, who is the ugly bastard in question, manages to snap a picture of them kissing. Right. As, and as they leave and, the building. Yeah, and basically uses that as blackmail to be like, hey, so uh, I saw you having sexual relations with this student. You don't want the teach. Uh, you don't want the school to find out, right? I feel, I feel you like, know what you got to do. I feel like people are having an easier time following the plot of, of Inception right now. <laughs> um, there are like so many different things. Going on. And, and like, man, uh, okay. and man okay. is this guy the ugliest of ugliest oh bastards? Dude. Okay, okay. He's the the goat okay. of ugly bastards. I, I, I got some things to say about this. Go on. Okay. I am pretty sure 
I am pretty sure, mm. okay, that this hentai was made in order to limit test boners, okay? It's, it's because- Elaborate. Okay, here's the thing. First five minutes, this is an A plus hentai. Okay, you got a hot teacher. You got okay. a milk. Wait, you like okay. the NTRing of the the student? Sorry, you like the NTR part with the student? The NTR, like at at this point, the husband hasn't been introduced, right? Well, we we get, I guess we get a little bit of the husband, like I mean, a tiny bit. No, we don't. We don't really get. But anything not enough to husband. care about. Oh, no, okay. no, we don't care about <laughs> okay, the husband. Okay. You know, that's that's it's it's like a little bit of light cheating. You know, it's 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 <laughs> it's different from NTR. All right, it's it's not full that's on. Cope. That's it's, cope. it's it's like not full on NTR. The but animation like, is good. And yeah. It has no right. The to animation good. is good. It looks fucking incredible. The teacher is like an. S-tier Dude, I teacher. watched this shit in 1080p and yeah. I was like, I the, almost the, the, wish yeah. it didn't exist. Yeah. The teacher is is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Until I, she I, I, talks and does yeah. things. I, I, was, I was like, this is this is this is this is great. And then you get the shot of the ugly bastard. And I swear, this shot of the ugly bastard- I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's vile. It's, it's, the sh it's the full body shot of the ugly bastard. <laughs> and I swear to God, I could hear Dark Soul music when like the shot comes on. <laughs> it's this, so gross. This man is the final boss of ugly bastards. <laughs> the fucking health bar shows up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh God. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, when he, when he shows up, it's just like my, I remember the first time Bro I watched this. Bro takes up the whole frame. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. he takes up the whole frame. Yeah, yeah. Because like I remember, like I've I've seen my fair share of ugly <sighs> bastards, but the first time I watched this, my jaw dropped to the floor. Yeah. It was like that, that, that's who, that's who they're introducing. Like, that's that's a person. Yeah, that's a real person. <laughs> that ain't a person. Okay. Yeah. I mean, some of these shots, some of these shots, like were framed, and I swear to God, she was fuck. She was like fucking a titan. Oh, yeah. dude, okay. That was my nitpick with like the first like NTR scene with the ugly bastard. Right. Was that, yeah, like, I got more than nitpicks. There's, there's, there's different shots of like, you know, them fucking doing whatever. And they can't stay consistent with the size of this dude. Yeah. Because there's one shot where he looks like 12 feet tall. And then there's another one where he looks like, you know, the hunchback guy from 300. Like, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. kind of looks like that guy. And I'm like, why are you like, I, I, what's, what's happening here? I had to skip through the sex scene. I couldn't watch it. It was, it it was, was so gross. Oh, bro. Brutal. No, gross. you needed to watch the sex scene to feel the pain. No, man. I didn't want, I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was I, painful. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. It was, it was gross. It was yeah. bad. You, you, like, you, you know, in some scenes of Attack on Titan where there's like a really, really small Titan with a really big head. That like yeah. ima imagine like a porn version of that, and that's what this anime was. That was the, what the sex scenes was. Like this man, <laughs> oh this God. man is literally the embodiment of pot of greed. You know, you, he, he yeah. has a pot of greed face. He has a pot yeah. of greed face, and man. Then, and then like they do it, and then I guess the student comes back, and then this the teacher's like, well the the janitor's like the ugly bastard guy's like, well join in, and the kid's like, ah, okay, and they join in, and it's like. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> and yeah, it, it I, got I, weirder. Yeah, I didn't understand that conclusion. It was that just was yeah. so weird. Like, like this student would watch this and be like, "All right, okay." If you, right. if you yeah, insist, if, if, if you right. insist, it's just like um, it's just disgusting. Like, yeah, everything was disgusting. Yeah, and then episode two got like ten times more disgusting. Episode two was just weird because I I, I don't know why they tried adding in subplots. Yeah. You they know? added like a B plot and a C plot to yeah. it. And I'm like, I'm still confused from yeah. the first because, episode. Because I, I was trying to treat like I in my in my mind uh, to try to cope with like what like the atrocities that was like I was viewing on screen. Bro, they broke I, the Geneva Convention somehow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know which one, but they broke something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I was just trying to keep back, uh, keep track of. Uh, so how many people are getting NTR right now? Yeah, like, Dude, yeah. everyone was getting NTR. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just like nobody. It was like, why don't we all just just. Just call it a day. No more relationships. <laughs> no one is allowed. Because this yeah. clearly isn't working in this universe. Yeah. So originally it's the husband that gets NTR'd because the because the teacher is uh is finds a student who the student is also in love with the teacher, right? Yeah. So at, at the beginning, it's the husband getting NTR'd. But then it's the student and the husband getting NTR'd because we find the ugly bastard. But then the husband finds a yandere who drugs him. And so the husband starts having sex with the yandere. So it's the teacher getting NTR'd. Well, hold up, hold up. He doesn't, he is very much not doing it voluntarily. She <laughs> drugged him, ties him up, and then she makes him watch a video of her husband 
like, being destroyed by a dude. And then he's just like drugged out of his mind, being taken advantage of. Yeah, that yeah. is gross. They, they included so this gross. like weird, they included this weird B plot, which I didn't understand, which is like, while the husband is getting NTI'd by this Yandere, yeah. and they played the video of the wife explaining like the reason why she's willingly getting NTI'd is because like she, the, the husband is in like a bunch of debt or whatever. And then it turns out the ugly bastard is like some kind of yuck, in, 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 like involved in some kind of like- yeah. Yeah. He's a like, janitor? Yeah, like, what was he doing? <laughs> yeah. Like when he, when, he, when he shows up with the cigar and the gold teeth, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what? Like where where the fuck did this come Why from? Why are you doing a janitorial yeah. job? It felt like, like for some reason, the first one was wildly popular in Japan. Yeah. And then they were like, bro, we need a sequel. He's like, bro, that was not supposed to be. <laughs> And then they're like, all right, well, let's make something. Yeah. yeah. And then they, they made this shit. It's, yeah. it's honestly, it, this was like, this was terrible. It was like, bad. Like I, I cannot recommend to not watch this enough. This yeah. was so gross, <sighs> so vile. I and mean, we can all agree. like, like just, just awful. We can it's all just, agree. It's the ugliest bastard we've all seen. It's, right? It is the ugliest bastard. Okay, and, then and I've, I've, there, I've done my job. There is the reason why this guy has become a meme everywhere. Yeah. If when you search the term ugly bastard, his face will show up because yeah. I would like to see if we can find an ugly boss, uglier bastard than Dude, this. Because I, I like, think after that, you're just in like like isekai goblin territory. Like I, had this, yeah. I had this uh, weird memory yeah. where um, I actually realized I watched this the second one, this, only the second episode. I'd watched only it before. the second episode. Okay. Right. Maybe you watched the first and you just like, no, you know, I it was like trauma haven't. and you just blanked it from your memory. I definitely <laughs> haven't. Cause I yeah. remember I've, I'd, I'd watched the second episode thinking it was like the first episode of something. And yeah. I was really confused. Yeah. Um, and I think it put me off hentai for like, <laughs> like, like three months. Yeah, I don't blame you, bro. I think I didn't watch it. Cause I was like, I was like when they got to the, like the twist of like, he'd been this John Dare had been doing the thing to him for so long that he just, now is not even of the sane of mind. And he thinks this woman who is doing the thing to him is his wife. And it was just like, what is this? Yeah. yeah. It made me feel like, oh th yeah, this the NSA is watching me and they're gonna <laughs> judge me for this. <laughs> what, what pisses me off about this, right? What pisses me off, especially about this is that it looks really fucking good. Like they, th this is like for some reason. For some reason, Queen B didn't pick this show up. Yeah, yeah it wasn't I, Queen B. I, that I think I think the up. scariest thing about the show is knowing it was like successful and it was yeah. popular. That's dude, that's yeah. concerning. Dude, I watched this shit in 1080p and I was just like, fuck. Yeah. Why did this 1080p version have to Why do they go so hard? Why do they have to, uh, they could they could have kept it at 720 or 480, like all these other great series, but no, this one, we needed to see an it's ultra just, HD. It's just <laughs> like, I, I it, you, there are some things you watch, uh, uh, some, some hentai you watch that really make you think like, man, they're really okay with the, showing this, but we can't show a dick. <laughs> Like we can, we can, we can show this, but I, but you can't show an uncensored penis. Yeah, that's where you draw the line. Yeah. But this is all fair game, all good. Oh, uh, so I was just looking at my notes, and that reminded me of just like there is. So you guys obviously skipped the ugly bastard sex scene. No, well, I mean, no, I, 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 you know, like I scrubbed with the mouse thing and yeah. stopped any dialogue. No, I yeah. sat around and what I think was, I know exactly what was disgusting is, aside from the whole fucking <laughs> head titan thing, they gave him so much detail, so much. There is this, there is <laughs> this exactly one close up shot that is like, I, I, I think I'm going to have to go to like talk therapy for this <laughs> because this is one close up shot of his nipple. <laughs> and it, it is, it is in so, so much disgusting detail. Dude, there's like warts on that shit. And yeah. like, I even noticed there's like one tiny nipple hair on it. And I'm like, bro, you did not, you could you could have just erased that line. I'm, I'm concerned about who this appeals to. Like, yeah. I'm concerned about who saw this and thought, yeah. finally, a show for me. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's concerning. <laughs> just because, because clearly it must have yeah. been. Uh, clearly, yeah. It's just like so, some animator made the conscious decision to be like, we can make this worse. We can make we can put more detail on this. Dude, I'm right? just I'm just imagining the animator just hearing it from the producer being like, you want me to draw what? <laughs> <laughs> I have to draw this and color it in and animate. Yeah. It? You know how like uh, people are like, man, I, I don't get how people couldn't want to have sex sometimes. I'm like, well, yeah. shit. After watching this, I don't ever want to have sex ever again. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was one thing that did. Make Make me laugh though at the end where it was it was uh this uh, at the end of episode one mm. where we it was the yandere right that the husband was talking to yeah but the the it was the husband and the yandere at a bar uh and the husband was like i think my wife's like cheating on me i think i'm i think she's having an affair and the girl just goes ah cheer up have a drink 
<laughs> and, I, and I was just, that that, just made well, me laugh. That's very Japanese. It's, yeah. yeah. Oh, shogunai now. Yeah, shogunai. Yeah. Drink, drink, literally, shogunai. Yeah, drink your sorrows yeah. away, bro. Don't worry about it's it. It's like, just, just don't be sad. It's, no, like, it's just simple. You don't. Just get yeah. over it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was that image of like tap and like the, the, like the scissors. And the scissors yeah, the scissors yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to cut it. It's just like, just, oh just don't God. be sad. Oh. It's easy. Just go outside. Um, so, so yeah, this, uh, I don't recommend you watch this anime. In fact, I recommend that someone invents a time machine and goes back in time yeah. and uh, prevents this anime mm. from ever being made. I wish I still lived in a in an ignorant world or full of bliss I where- I didn't know you guys. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fucking have watched this if I never met you guys, like ever. Like I would never have watched this, ever. I want to go back in time where I'm like, I can just look at the image of the ugly boss and be like, Haha, mm. funny image. Yeah. <laughs> Without knowing the context behind it. Yeah. God damn it. All right, boys and girls. Let's get serious for a second. We've talked on Trash Taste a lot about taking care of yourself mentally, which is why this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. I'm in my 30s now, and in the past 10 years, I sure as hell felt like my life was growing and changing, and sometimes I felt a little bit lost, which is why at one point, I turned to talk therapy. Talk therapy is about deepening your self-awareness and understanding, because we're all complicated human beings, and as much as we'd like to think like we do, sometimes we don't even understand ourselves. This is where a service like BetterHelp can be useful. BetterHelp is an online service that can connect you to a licensed talk therapist that can help you on your journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. In my experience, a lot of people can find the idea of talk therapy daunting and maybe a little bit embarrassing. I know I did way before, but sometimes just having a place where you can talk freely and having someone who can bring a fresh perspective on things can help a lot. Because I know by my experience, guys, we don't talk enough about our emotions. The great thing about BetterHelp is that it removes that daunting barrier of entry entirely. It's entirely online to fit your schedule. It's flexible and designed to be convenient. And I want to reiterate a very important point here. This isn't a solution to all the problems in your life. It's just a tool to help you become the best version of yourself. So if you want to give it a go, discover your potential today with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash trash, or just click the link in the description. Thank you very much to BetterHelp for sponsoring us today. Back to the video. Well, we thought, I thought it couldn't get worse, but then it did get worse with uh, your uh, next recommendation. Okay, Connor. okay. I want to preface. This is not a, don't say recommendation. This is not a recommendation, <laughs> right? I, I, this show. Are we really going into this one? This I'm show. I'm ready. This show, I, I never felt more betrayed by a show in my life. Yeah. So Straight up. What was your category, Connor? Uh, it was name a MILF hentai you didn't like. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what was the name of this one again? I forgot. It was uh, Sleepless, uh, mm. Midsummer something. Midsummer okay, Night. Okay, so I, yeah. okay, first of all. Uh, that's that's what it made me after Yeah, I'm definitely hentai. sleepless. Yeah. I'm gonna be one. real. I watched this one. Uh, most, most hentai I watch, I don't have subtitles. Right. Yeah. So a lot of the times I'm missing out on the fine details. Uh -huh. I yeah. hear a lot. But then this one, I went back to rewatch because I was really confused why it went the direction it did. What the story is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But so here was my understanding of the story um, before I kind of got to episode two. Okay. And this is why I was excited for it. Mm -hmm. I was hyped. So it opens with a kid getting an attack. It's all burned in my memory, by the way. Yeah. Because I can't I remember. It opens up with a kid getting in the taxi and he's like, you know, he's in like the middle of nowhere kind of in Japan. He goes to the cab driver. He's like, all right, take me to this manor. And he's like, bro. <laughs> the MILF manor. Yeah, the like, MILF manor. Like, sure it is you? literally a fucking yeah. MILF manor. I'm like, manor. he's like, bro, are you sure you want to go to the MILF manor? A lot of the people don't come out when they go there. Yeah. He's like, bro, take me to the MILF manor. <laughs> Henceforth, go. <laughs> What's the, what, other, what are other words? Chop, go? chop, 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 chop. Faster. So then he gets to the mansion and it's, it's pretty high. It's pretty fucking high. The first yeah. episode, hype. Bro, oh. it's great. So yeah. it's like the first episode you meet this maid. She's great. Yeah. Really attractive. Yeah. Uh, they go in the onsen together, get a little frisky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. They didn't, I love it. I love it when hentai, when they don't do sex right away. Yeah. I love it when they have an interaction yeah. and it doesn't lead to sex. Yeah. So I'm like, classic. It's, it's like a little, classy. little tease. Little you tease. made me, you made me stick around. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think look forward to I will say one thing I really, really liked about this hentai, like initially is that it has a very, very different art style that doesn't look yes. like every yes. other copy and pasted art so style. Much. Cause I feel like a lot of hentai right now has gotten so homogenous, mm. right? In terms of their character designs, you mm. know, it's it, everyone looks like the same copy paste. Everyone has like a fucking buffer on their yeah. skin yeah. to make it extra 
extra shiny. Mm -hmm. and All the characters look unique than this. Yeah, this one looked really unique. It had a really unique it was, style. I feel like it was like a nice mix of like kind of the 90s hentai style mm -hmm. with like a modern mm -hmm. style, right? Yeah. Like mixed in. And yeah. every character in this mansion was just like a 10 out of 10. Dude, of, dude, right? Great. Yeah, I yeah. mean like the first one, my favorite was the maid. Yeah. yeah. And we had a scene right away with the maid and I was like, yes. Yeah. And I loved it because she was kind of like, oh, I mean, I guess if I have to, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's like indifferent. And I, yeah. I always think that's, you know, I don't know why I like that, but I'm like, yeah. it's kind of hot. Yeah. yeah. And it was fun and they didn't, and she's like, no, I'm not going to have sex with you. And I was like, nice. <laughs> Nice. Don't the give tease. it to him. He yeah. doesn't deserve it. Yeah. He doesn't deserve and then, it. Make him work for it. And then after the maid, they find one of the other milfs in the. Who uh, seems the like mom, right? yeah. Who seems like uh, the, the mom. mom? Which yeah. I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Here's here's where it is. Real here's shit. where it goes. Yeah. We got we got yeah. the entree, and now we have the main and dish. So yeah, yeah. So it turns out that in this in this milf manner, that they they like to get a little frisky. Oh, they yeah, like yeah. to one to collect. I guess shaman. Well, 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 we'll we'll get to that because like I was I was very very much enjoying the first episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in the scene with the mum, I was just like something made you feel uneasy. Something made me feel uneasy, and I was just like I've seen a lot of blowjob scenes before in anime, but why does she keep like sucking his dick, kind of like a straw? That's, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. And I was like, but uh, maybe may, maybe it's like a maybe maybe it's and, just a maybe it's a fetish. And yeah, maybe it's a fetish. The thing that made me a little <laughs> uneasy was that um they have this spray. Which is, I guess, just Viagra spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. immediately makes your PP recover after you know doing it. And I was like, oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure they just like having sex a lot. Yeah, yeah. And that was great because yeah. we got plenty of scenes, and the mom was great. Mom yeah. was super. I loved her. Just yeah. in general, uh, I wish she was real. <laughs> it was great. It was a good scene. And I, yeah. dude, you cannot believe uh, how hyped I was for episode two. And I, and I, because I watched this when it came out. Right. right, literally like day zero. I was there. <laughs> I, Your patient I, zero. Yeah. I, was, I was refreshing. And Connor so was at I, the midnight screening, I was, waiting in I line. I was at the midnight screening with the other comments, right? Yeah. We were all hyped. We were like, we were all shaking hands in our suits. Like, great, another <laughs> successful MILF one. It's been months since we've had a good MILF and literally it had been, it had been, and I cannot preface this enough. 2022 had literally no good MILF hentai right. at all. There was like, there was like one or two tops that were passable. Right. And this finally felt like we were getting one. We were getting <laughs> this, the goaded MILF experience. This is MILF, what we've been waiting for. Yeah. yeah. I was like, woo baby, yes. It was like MILF, MILF <laughs> Manor IRL. Get that shit out of here. We finally got a real one. Yeah. And then I waited after three, Three months, episode two finally came out. You can imagine how excited I was. You can imagine, boy, you can imagine how excited I was. And then when I saw what happened, when I saw what they did, I couldn't believe it. I never felt so disgusted. Oh my God. This not only did it not live up to my expectations like Masterpiece 3, which is already, I will get into that later. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like they, they took a 180. I, I'm so I'm so disgusted. It, it by turned the direction from it went. Milf Manor to just some of the a most sore. like just sore. it was sore. Yeah, it was sore. It uh, I, I would euphoria? say it was closer to Hostel because there, unfortunately there was no way this guy was gonna came out. Um, we, we watched Euphoria. I'm not gonna lie. I think this one was even grosser for me. You know what? Bit. I kind of agree. I, it's 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 definitely on that same yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. This I one just... hurt more because I was also invested. <laughs> yeah. Like I was I was I was there. This is like if if like I was like a Mario Kart fan. I found out that like I don't know like Mario like kills everyone after the race. Like Dude, when he wins. I feel I've never been clickbaited by hentai so hard. No. Did you, did, when I when I explained this to you guys, it could because I, I warned them. I was like, dude, it gets gross. Yeah. And I was like, and I was like, uh, yeah. it's, it's Connor. I've I'm seen sure. Euphoria. Yeah, like, it's, it can't get that bad. And then I remember, the, it, I've never had like an instant recoil. Like, <laughs> uh, like, like, like when when. Okay, okay, okay. okay. so, so to, maybe you should walk through it in the most to, in the most YouTube safe to, way you okay. can. To set the scene, to set the scene, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain this like a doctor. Uh, to set the scene, how we, episode one ends on a cliffhanger. And it's great because mm. he's done the maid, he's done the milf, yeah. and then now he gets to do the daughter. Okay, <laughs> and now it's now it's like a yes. yeah. now it's like a cliffhanger. It's like, oh, what what what? How's the daughter gonna be? She yeah, seems yeah, she yeah, seems yeah. like she has a little bit of an attitude. Bit of or, like, yeah. A little bit of a tsundere. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. I, I, I was okay with like not really exploring her because I already yeah. got my film. I was yeah. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. My two favorites. Yeah. yeah, we we got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, so you load up episode two, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm uh, okay, let's see where this goes. Um, and then starts off pretty, starts off pretty okay. You know, she sprays some more spray on his dick. And he she's gets talking hard, to him a bit weird. Talks to him, talks to him a little bit weird. You're mm -hmm. like, 
uh, something seems a bit off, but I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it's just normal. I know. I, I think the family's just weird. Yeah. Um, and then she brings out this contraption. Bro, this uh, is, yeah, dude, I'm Scott. She uh, brings out this contraption and- No, uh, she, she says, I want to drink some tapioca milk tea. That's what she says. Oh yes, I had, I had forgot She's about like, that. She's like, I'm thirsty. She, she she is thirsty and she wants to drink some milk tea. So she brings out this contraption, which is a syringe with some tapioca in it and some liquid in it uh, with a long tube and then proceeds to shove the tube ah! up the guy's, you know what, and I'm not talking about his ass. I believe the uh, I believe the scientific term for it is called sounding. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the term for it. If you so, know what that means, you know what that means. So it is. Uh, it is. It. <sighs> It says ure urethra. Yeah, uh, that and is then she injects the boba in yeah. there. And then she proceeds to inject the boba and the liquid into, into this. Um, and yeah, that, uh, that, that, is, that is when- and you see all the details of it going in and just- And then she drinks it afterwards by then, making a nut with boba, I guess, in. Yeah. There. And the dialogue is just It's like awful. It is- inducing Like after, after he like gets it out of his system, she's like, I want a little uh, fresh milk with this one. Yes. And then I he proceeds to climax into the glass and she's just casually sipping on this thing. And yeah. I'm like, bro. This, what is wrong with I, you? I, I'll admit, right? I, I'm not, not going to say I like it just in case you worry about that. Um, I was like, maybe, maybe that's just the one gross thing that happened. <laughs> I'm going to skip past this. And it just got worse. And, and then just, when the maid comes in? Oh, I, I don't even think. <sighs> let's say, let's say the maid comes in. Uh, there is a banana, which the maid is forced to put somewhere. And then let's say maybe he had a bit of Taco Bell the night before. And then, and then that comes out. And then- The just, guy's just sitting there just oh, like- Oh wait, no, 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 wait there. I'm, I'm missing a very important detail. The banana goes in a place and then the dude has to help push the banana in with, with his pee pee. With, with his banana. With his pee pee. Okay, um, okay, for what? Okay, I, 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 was gra I, was, I was grasping onto anything that I could like hang on to for like me to take my mind off the situation. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, like I was like, this is, there is no way this banana is keeping its shape. Yeah. This dude shoves this banana in with his, uh, with his pee pee and it perfectly maintains its shape <laughs> during everything. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like yo, that, no way. That banana ain't there right. Ain't no well, obviously, right. After you've had a tapioca drink, you yeah. need a banana sundae to wash it down. A banana chocolate sundae. And so that's what yeah. comes out. Oh. And um, they, they eat it and then you're like, oh my God. And then somehow you're like, oh, well, that's at least the worst is over. No. It doesn't get worse. It, it certainly gets worse. Yeah. Because then the next scene, they just straight up just go to an operating table. Oh yeah. So there's a secret room in this manor that in episode one, it's behind this white door, and the maid says to the guy, "Whatever you do, don't enter through this white door. It's it's a secret room." But obviously, when when that gets pushed down your throat, you get a little curious. And so one night, he wakes up after he's force fed this banana chocolate smoothie. He wakes up, and he he in a stupor, he goes, "Oh." I'm gonna go check out this room. And uh, goes down into a fucking sus ass basement. And there's just like test tubes. Yeah. And, and there, flasks. There are dismembered um, penises and tits <laughs> just, uh, just floating about. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like uh, this is this is a very weird subplot. It's like I, I was on board and I don't know who this second episode's for. Like I don't psychopaths clearly. I, I think it was to fuck over people like me. I think <laughs> I think they wanted to fuck and ruin. They were me, definitely like just me. trolling. Yeah. I think they wanted to troll people yeah. like me. Yeah, I, I said the last hentai, I, I think was made to limit test erections. Uh, I think the person that made this just has a vendetta against erections. Yeah, I think they yeah. want to I, like, I, if anyone nutted to this, I genuinely am concerned. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's cause like the thing, the thing that makes this so bad is just how much detail they yeah, put into so these gross. scenes. Like I remember that that first scene with the tube, I could feel the entire oh, male population oh, bro, entire just bro. like I like collectively grab their crotch area and go, 
Oh, and and I remember like, as well, like when she's like when she's putting it in, she goes, yeah. "Don't squirm, or I might make a hole somewhere else." And I'm yeah. like, "Ah, <laughs> yeah, you know, like my pee pee." I'm pretty sure when like Yoda said he feels the disturbance in the Force, this like they were animating this scene, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and this made me think, like, how are we allowed to show that, but we're not allowed to show a dick? Like, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're pushing yeah. it again. Like, what is this? Uh, the standards, bro. Just, just the double you. standards. Just like, I, I, I could not explain how angry I was and how ashamed I was that I- And then the final <laughs> scene, right? Where he- I turned it off by this point. Oh, okay. Like, so I, 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 I sat through it to the end because I, I was like, I how could this get any worse? I did kind of laugh at the final scene. Go, go for yeah, it. Yeah, I, I mean, I laughed at the final scene. Uh, so basically <laughs> what happens is he gets not, he, so he, he sneaks into the, the, the test tube room, right? And he's like, oh God, I got to get the fuck out of here. As he's about to escape from the room, a, a, a mysterious shadow like comes in, knocks him out. He wakes up on the operating table and he's he's fully naked and he is inside the mom. And he's like, wait, something feels strange about this. And she goes, yeah, don't worry about it. We replaced your PP with a much better PP. The much better PP is what I can only describe Oh wait, I remember that. <laughs> As a extremely flaccid, 15 feet long, tentacle looking motherfucker. That just like slithers can, out. Can, 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 just, like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, I remember saying, wasn't it like a completely different color as well? It was a completely <laughs> different <laughs> color. They gave him a black cock. <laughs> And it's a comically large black car. I just, I think my, I think, I think my mind was broken at this point yeah. because I just full on started burst out laughing. I, I, I thought I didn't read it as that. I thought it was like a a decrepit dick that had like it that was, had like gone from like no, uh, bro. Uh, it was so soft. I'm like, how did that thing stay in? It is. It is so comically large. It it is basically like a horse cock. They gave him a black no, horse it's cock. It's bigger. It's, it's bigger, bigger than a horse. Cock man, it just this thing slithers out like a snake, and it's just like, and he's just like, "What have you done to my cock?" And we've like, we, we've, we've, we've turned it, it into a pacifier. Yeah, we, right? We've That's improved it. Yeah, we've built it stronger, like, better. Like you know when people have those arguments, are like, "Man, we shouldn't change things in anime because we shouldn't censor it because it's part of the culture." Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, shit, like this is like absolutely not. A hundred percent, we should censor this no. stuff. Yeah. What are you talking about? This shit is fucked. And then, and then as well, the final, final scene is like the maid and the, the mom or the daughter, I don't know. At this point, all three of the, the, the ladies are, are just in cahoots. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and of course they have to insert a straw and into the end of his pee pee again. And just being like, just like, like they're sharing a fucking like cocktail I, I, on the a, beach. A very long straw. It a is very it is, long it, straw. It is, but considering how massive this, uh, this horse penis is. They, they, they got one of the crazy <laughs> straws dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I couldn't believe that they, they, yeah. they made this. Yeah. How do you get someone to sit through and animate that? Like these animators are chats. I want, I wanted yeah. to be in the boardroom when this was pitched. I just yeah. can't believe it. Episode one, I bet everyone was on board. They're like, yeah. as a resounding success, gentlemen, we've done it again. And then this one it was just like, what? And then, and then the director went on a fucking coke binge. Yeah. He just came back and he was like, there's, there's, I've got an idea. Like there's no way they, they, they made this and people did not need to go to therapy after it. Like, yeah. I, I refuse to believe you could animate this and not have like consequences. Oh yeah. It, yeah. This was this is the first time where I'm like, oh, this is this is what NSFL is. Like this is this is this is not safe. This for is life. not safe for life. Yeah. Um, and it so I, gross. I, 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 it's just the thing that shocks me is at least with other like messed up hentai that I've seen, at least with other shows, you get that tone from episode one. No, this was yeah. I was yeah. debating. I, yeah. I, I don't I don't read the tags when I watch anime. Yeah, I just click on it and scrolled through. Right. Yeah. Um. And and yeah. So I was I was great. I was man. I can't get over how portrayed I was. Yeah. Oh yeah. I felt backstabbed. <laughs> man. You know, like sometimes when I watch like the, those Netflix documentaries about people getting like betrayed or screwed over by someone, I'm, I'm like, man, I've never never felt that way. But this way made me feel that. Yeah, way. because like when you when you recommended this to me and I saw okay, that it was in the, is not the word. Well, okay. when you suggested this show to me, <laughs> uh, I want to put this right out there. Do not yeah. recommend. This. When yeah. you suggested to the, me with the pretense of this is a milf hentai that Connor didn't like, right? Yeah. And I watched episode one and I was like, wow, his standards have gone up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he didn't like this one. Like, yeah. what the fuck? And then episode two kicked in. I'm like, ah. 
Yeah. Now I understand. <laughs> yeah, there is. I felt bad that I didn't make you guys watch that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for is, that, bro. It Sorry. was it was a horrible day to have eyes. It was yeah. nice. Just, it was nice because I felt like I got to share a trauma, at least with <laughs> my friends. So that's nice. We can nice. all go to therapy together now. Yeah, we, uh, we all yeah. understand the pain yeah. and the suffering. I just, yeah. un unfortunately, I don't think we can go to an onsen again because I think my dick has now inverted back into my body. Oh, it definitely it, did. Yeah. It, it does I, not want to come out. I lost yeah. a centimeter. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's Absolutely. Yeah. Chastity belt is on now. Like, I, yeah. don't, I don't want to ever. <laughs> Hello, I'm a good, we are good Christian boys now. We do not watch hentai. It's like, man, we didn't have a single good MILF hentai last year. Like, yeah. No banger. And then that's what yeah. you got. And that's all we got. Yeah. Episode one was the best we got. Yeah, yeah and, then, and, and then it ends with uh, another unsuspecting kid being like, take me to the MILF. Like, take me to the MILF house. I want to go to the MILF house. And now we know if someone asks you to take you to the MILF house, no matter how good that sounds, you say no. Yeah, okay? that's why I'm not watching MILF Manor. I just, I just, I'm, I'm destroyed any amount of milk. Who knows what they're doing behind the scenes? I season. don't want to know what they do on episode eight. <laughs> Holy shit. But uh, I just, is there anything else we want to say or can don't we like- watch can it. We, don't watch it. Can we, can we wipe this from our memory? Yeah, I want to get rid of this yeah, one. Yeah, first time yeah. where I'm jealous of men in black, where I can just fucking <laughs> pew. Yeah, this, this is why I want right yeah. now. Yes. Um, I suppose I should uh, go on to um, the hentai that I recommended. Okay. So. Uh, which is a little bit of a curveball because mm -hmm. I got uh, the category name something that awoke something in you. So I, I, sure. I, I took that as a, a hentai that has a pretty like a, something I wouldn't usually watch, but then I watched it and I was like, I don't know why I kind of fucked okay. with that. Um, so do you want to explain the basic premise of the show? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to get the name again. I Hold think on. it's. I think it's called Saku. What fuck is it? Sakuse Byoto. Sakuse Byoto. Yeah. Oh Byoto. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so. Um, Which means uh, semen collection hospital. Oh, what is the word for semen again? <laughs> se. Oh, oh, oh se. okay. Yeah, it's Saku collection. is collect. collect. Oh my se God. is semen and Byoto <laughs> is a hospital building. Jesus wow, you, uh, you uh, learn something new every day. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Another, so Another word to not remember. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'd say this, this, this is a simple, pretty easy premise. You know, mm -hmm. you have a guy who has this weird ass medical condition. <laughs> it's, it's this weird ass medical condition. Dude, I don't, I don't, they dude, didn't this, really- This is the average Twitter user. <laughs> the average pretty, Twitter user. <laughs> so like, so like, you know, you know, okay. I'm gonna, you know, in speed, people have seen speed where there's this bus, right? Mm. But uh, if, if, if this bus goes below 50 miles an hour, <laughs> the bus will explode. Yeah. So imagine that <laughs> with a guy's dick, okay? So he doesn't jack off every three hours or yeah. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. His balls literally explode. <laughs> so, so I don't know why, I, I don't know if this probably is not, I really hope this isn't a real medical condition. No, of course it is not gone. <laughs> of course it is not real. Uh, but yeah, this guy has a medical condition where he, <laughs> if, he doesn't, if he doesn't ejaculate every three or so hours, Hours, the, then his nuts will explode. Yeah. Just literally just like, and I assume like the hospital will explode with him. I don't know. I don't know if the severity of the explosion. Dies. Yeah, yeah. He will, he'll probably just die. And, um, and, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's an easy solution. Yeah. He, he can just jack off every three hours. Yeah. No, no, they've figured out that plot hole by breaking both of his hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah he's in this hospital and he just has no hands. Yeah, yeah he, has a, he, has a, he has nuts that are about to explode and two broken casted hands. <laughs> so he can't do anything. Yeah, and the closer he gets to the three hours, the more searing pain his nuts are in. Yeah. So it's 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 kind of like it's like kind of like a ticking it's, time it's bomb. It's so it's, whiny the whole time. Yeah. Oh, he was a bitch the whole he time. Was, he was a little bitch. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so the main premise of this is, of course, he has he has to get the nurses to uh, to take care of this condition for him. Sure. You know? And we've seen some variations of this hentai before. I feel you know you you have like a nurse whose job it is to take care of a medical condition, yes, of and course. then ooh they get a get a little frisky the nurse starts mm. liking him maybe but mm. no this one the nurse hates the job she hates him and you think okay maybe in the end maybe in the end she starts enjoying it she mm. starts like turning around maybe like she sees a side of the guy that she starts to like no she hates him 
from beginning to end, and she is not afraid to say how disgusting this fucking boy is. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I, I got it. I, I, I saw this, and I was, I remember, I remember watching this. I was waiting for the turn. You know, I was waiting mm. for, I was waiting for like the emotional turn that we've seen with the girl. Yeah. And it's like it just never happens. Yeah. yeah. So this main girl just has to basically make him. <laughs> Poor nurse, yeah. not getting paid nearly enough. Yeah, that has to make him ejaculate. Yeah. So yeah. So again, like this was another one where I was initially confused, right? And right. I'm still a bit confused. Where right. I watched all three episodes, by the way. Oh really? I only really liked the first one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I I watched amazing, the bro. first episode yeah. and I was waiting for the turn and I was like, oh, this is the thing that made something awoke in Gone and I was and all I thought at the end of episode one was. Are you okay, Gar? No, 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 no. I, like, I kind of get it. I don't get it at all. I, I get it. I, really? I'm going to speak for Garn here. I'm all right. All right. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You're on I, I don't know yeah. if I don't know if Garn has this too. All right. There is something kind of attractive about how she doesn't want to do it. Yeah. Really? I don't yeah. know why. I, it's, it's the disgust at which she she shows is kind of attractive. I yeah. don't know why. I don't Thank get it. Thank you. Someone's, I, I was afraid, I was afraid I was gonna get clowned up, but like something about just the <sighs> disgust and not having the like, turn, I was like, I don't know why. And again, in real life, I would absolutely despise this. Mm. Cause in yeah. real life, right. I, I just, it's gross. Yeah. Like, I think it's vile. Sure. Cause yeah. like, you know, I, if they don't like me, I'm not into it in real life. But yeah. in, the sh in the show and the way it's portrayed, I can understand Again, I wouldn't jack off to it, but I, I understand that you would find that attractive. Oh, yeah. I am the complete opposite of that. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I watch this and I'm like, wow, this, what a bitch. <laughs> what? I'm like, I'm like I, thought, okay. I thought the hold guy on. was okay. a bitch. Okay. And I'm okay. like, everyone okay. in this show is a bitch. You didn't watch episode two or three, did you? No. Okay. No. That is, <laughs> she was actually the nicest one. She was the nicest one. I remember nice one. because at the end of episode one, when she leaves, yeah. she's like, you know, I'm actually one of the few nurses that's quite tolerable. And I'm like, yeah. it gets worse. Oh, yeah. it gets oh. worse. Dude, so, yeah. so the, it like opens up, right? And she's like, oh, fine. So she like jacks him off. And yeah. it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Scene ends, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, I need to pee. I can't pee." And yeah. then it's like so yeah. pathetic. It's, it's so yeah. weird. Pathetic. And then he's like, "I'm done peeing." And she like goes to the toilet and holds his pee pee up. Yeah, can't help him pee. And he's like, "But I want to. I want to. I want to come." I want to nut. And she's like, "Oh my god, <laughs> fine." <laughs> And she's like, you're yeah. disgusting. You're disgusting. Yeah. He does it and whatever. Yeah. And it goes like fucking everywhere. And then later on, for some reason, I don't know why, it, it kind of escalates and then she is willing to do it with her mouth. I don't know why. No, no, yeah. it's, it's because he's like, I've jacked off so much in my life yeah. that I need something stronger. Yeah, I, I need more sensation. Oh, I, need right, more right, sensation. Right, right. I, I need a level up. And she's just like, fuck you. And he's literally beggars cannot be choosers, bro. Yeah. You do not get to decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Just like there is like there's like a there's like a kind of like Dojin series, which is like uh, that. This really really reminds me of. Is it the the panties one? Yeah, like I sh like I can't remember the full name, but it's just like I make a disgusted face while I show you my panties or yeah, something like that. Yeah. And normally it's just like a series of images, but this perfectly. This is the one. This is the only hentai I've seen that has perfectly captured the energy of this one Dojin series. Where yeah, and it, it's, it became it's, an anime, right? Yeah, it did become an yeah. anime. Yeah, and the the whole premise of this anime is that uh, for some reason uh, the girls have to. Sh it's like it's actually like a POV. Oh, wow. It's a POV yeah. anime. So it's done so it's almost like you are talking to this girl and you are trying to convince this girl to show you uh, to show her her panties to you, yeah. right? Uh, and then the cre the premise is you convince her to do it. She shows it and she's just disgusted at you this yeah, entire she hates time. It. Yeah, and I feel like this this for some reason this hentai. Like the this one episode, the entire episode is just. I feel like it's based. It must be based on this Dojin I series. I thought. I thought for a split second because I also thought up of that show as well because it, it definitely gave off the same vibes. And I'm like, is there a possibility that it's done by the same author? Yeah. And I looked it up and it wasn't. But I was like, it must have been like. I, yeah. I guess this is like a genre <laughs> that I never knew about <laughs> and that people are into. And I, I'm like, all right, you know. Who's also insanely well animated. It yeah, was. Like, it was. Like there's a scene- I'll give it that. Yeah. There's a scene where you like, they do it and then she like cleans herself out and it's insanely well animated for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but also there's a scene in, in this that happens about halfway through where the nurse is kind of talking shit about having to do this. Yeah. And he's outside listening. And then he walks in, he's like, hey, wh why are you saying bad things about me? <laughs> Yeah, well, how, you don't like doing it. And he's, she's like, I literally have told you every single time I fucking hate you. <laughs> yeah. And and it's like, 
what do you want from her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She I, is yeah. a nurse who has to jack you off. No, no yeah. I, I remember the exact thing he said. He was like, I, I don't feel good because uh, you don't feel good about doing this. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, bro. Dude, this is your affliction. <laughs> yeah. She is not getting paid enough to do this. Yeah. She just does not want to do this. I imagine she's a medical professional who now has to apparently become a, a pseudo prostitute because yeah. your dick don't work. Yeah, I, I, I think that's why I th I think that's kind of why this worked. I, I feel like this would, I feel like this would have worked less if she was just like a bitch. Yeah, to it would someone. have been. It would have been uh, just annoying. Yeah, I think. Mm. if she was just a bitch to someone who was just not doing anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I was like looking at this guy, seeing this fucking beta, being like, oh, "This isn't enough. Can you like give me more?" Yeah, it's like, bro, what are you? Expect? Yeah, and it's like, bro, come on, and like her just being like. I hate you. You are disgusting. You are a pathetic worm. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know. This is, I don't this, disagree. Yeah, this no, is no, it. Okay. I don't disagree. I'll and, give it that. I'll give it that. Like, I, I, I because the guy was such a bitch boy. Like, yeah. I I felt for the girl, <laughs> and it made it be like, yeah, girl, fucking don't take shit yeah. from this guy. Yeah. But like, maybe maybe yeah. I should empathize more with the guy with a, a three hour dick limit and nah. broken hands. Uh, no, like, no, 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 no. He, no. he can take what he's getting. Like, oh man, my, my, my dick's not sensitive enough to come with you, like jacking me off. But I'm like, bro, come on, come on. You're like, like you, I'm hungry and yeah. you get food. And they're like, actually, could I have a cramp? Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, yeah. it's, like, yeah, it's like, what did you want? Did, did you want me to go to the MILF Manor and get the spray? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, but, but I think like, I, I get that. I completely get like, you know, because of the fact that the guy was such a little bitch, right? Yeah. Where it's like, okay, yeah, this girl has every right to be mean as fuck to the guy. Yeah, yeah. it was hot. Yeah. But like, hot take. I like my hentai where the women like it. Is that okay. a hot take? Okay, like, okay, you know. okay. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. I I agree with you. Yeah. I, I normally agree. I normally agree. Yeah. Um, because you know, normally if the girl doesn't like it, mm. um, then it's fucking NTR or something, right? It's, yeah. it's like the complete opposite. Of course, of course. I feel this was closer to just emotionless sex, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. This this I I normally no, I guess because like even emotionless sex, like it's not as, because there was an emotion. <laughs> it's not quite, emo in fact, there was a lot of emotion in yeah. this. It's just the complete opposite of emotion of it was what disgust. I am into. It, it was, was disgust. disgust. It was yeah. disgust. Yeah, which I don't it, really like in any context personally. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I I get that. Yeah. Um, I was surprised that I found it hot because I was just like, I, I ain't really like into that kind of stuff in real no, life. No, me too, I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was like, it's, it's like, to, to me, I'm like, I, I want to stay away from that stuff. I want a girl to be like in it with me. You know, yeah. I want us to have a good time together, which is why, you know, I chose this hentai for this one category because it's the only hentai I've seen that is fully committed fully, fully committed to just the girl being disgusted. Okay, and so episode two and yeah, three, uh, yeah. it follows the same guy? Uh, yeah, yes. it follows the same guy. It's a little nurses. bitch baby, but like the girls just get progressively more sadistic. Yeah. yeah. How, how does it get? <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> can, you, can you even give me a cliff notes uh, version well, of Well, the, the kind of the, I guess one of the first things is that, you know, they obviously, uh, for some reason she gets transferred. And I was curious to see how it get worse. So that's why I can't mm. watch it. Yeah. And there's a girl who's clearly like a bit evil. She's laughing at him, calling him like a loser and shit. Yeah. And then she- Deserved. She uh, jacks him off and then uh, she takes a video of her doing it. And right. she's like, oh, if you don't, if you don't start appreciating it, I'm gonna post this everywhere. Oh and shit. And so in six hours, you better start groveling to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he's like, what do you, what, why? I'm, what, I, was, uh, and, I, just, I just say like Morty's voice yeah. every time. Oh, like, I picked oh, it, I go, oh, 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 Rick. oh please don't, oh, oh, Rick, oh, please then, don't um, post it. And then so she comes back and he's like, oh, I, 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 I know, I don't think I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I just need to, I just need to come. And then <laughs> she's like, all right, fine. And so she jacks him off and then puts the, that, the excrement in the, uh, in the, his food. Oh, and then shit, starts yeah. feeding it to him. Oh. And, but then he doesn't want to eat it. And then she's like, all right, well, if you eat me, you can eat the food. And so she starts pouring it. It's gross. It's yeah. so nasty. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good, dog. Uh, and then it kind of gets worse. And there's one point that <laughs> it made, really made me laugh. <laughs> it was, he kept going like, I want the old nurse bag. I, I want a bag. She was cool. I feel so dumb. And she's like, oh, you want a bag? Oh, you want a bag? Fine. 
And then he, she t- he takes him, oh, he this. takes him <laughs> to her locker, and she makes him. She's like jacking him off, and she's like, "You better, you better not all over her, her clothes." And I don't know why. And he, he fucking like a, like a fucking turret, like a machine yeah. gun. She's like, <laughs> like, a, like a, and she's like and getting Reload. it all over her clothes. Reload. Yeah, and then the girl, the nurse comes up. She's like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And then he's like. Ha And then she starts jacking him off on her. She's like, bro, what the fuck? Collateral damage. Yeah. And, then, and it's just like, what the fuck is this? It's so fucking dumb, but it keeps getting more sadistic. And then yeah. she, yeah. She, and then Jesus. the third nurse goes into like electroshock ther- electro yeah. oh, therapy. Electroshock therapy. Yeah. And it goes down that route. So it, it just gets it at, like it gets closer and closer, just like just torture. torture. Just torture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah right. She puts a, a, a flashlight on a power drill and then oh, yeah. just <laughs> turns it and then turns it on on this. Uh, and it's just, and it's just like, it's like, it's like a cotton candy machine of nut. Yeah. It's just going, you know, how cotton candy comes yeah. out. Like imagine that, but of a, a flashlight just it's, going everywhere. It's, it's, it's like a band's moist critical contraption. You know? yeah. 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 It's yeah. like, yeah. it's yeah. so fucked. Char- Charlie is like, nah, this has gone too far yeah. even for me, man. Like get, get that out of Christ. here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. She's just like the most unhinged and you just keep getting, it gets more and more yeah. like torture. And I like the, the more, the more episodes I watch, the more I was literally like, can we, can we get the yeah, the first, nine, the first nurse? The first nurse. Great. The like first she night. actually treated him kind of great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I honestly like it's. It was that first like because like like I said, I'm not really into this kind of stuff. But the first episode had that perfect balance. You know why? I you know, yeah. You know why is when because when she said I'm one of the good nurses. Yeah, I I, I believed it. Yeah, the first yeah. she said yeah. I don't even need to see the other nurse. Yeah. I was like, you know what? She has taken care of yeah. me. Maybe she didn't appreciate as much as she wanted, but yeah. I think she did a job. Yeah, she I didn't I, torture you. I, I think she could, didn't go, didn't do good. Uh, honestly, went above and beyond. Honestly, honestly, she did. The fact that she, like, she did every request that he asked, yeah. even though he was a little, little bit of fucking whining, bitch baby, a little whiny bitch herbivore baby. Herbivore boy. Yeah, for, uh, absolute herbivore. Yeah. He's he's the herbivore that gets eaten by herbivores. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Like, holy shit. And she put up with that shit and she just did her job. She was a professional from start to finish. Yeah. And, okay, did she verbalize her? Did she- did Was she, she a little harsh? Yeah, yeah. Did, she, did she verbalize her thoughts? Of course, she's definitely underpaid. And okay, maybe, maybe then episode one will awake me if I watch episode two and three. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I look back at it retrospectively and being like- A retrospective what? boner. Yeah, and I'm like, you know what? Now that I think about it, yeah, that's yeah. all right. And, and you know what? If there are any other anime that even like closely resemble how like how balanced this first episode is, kind of interested because I don't, I don't know. I'm like, this, I thought it was really well done. The yeah, first I, I thought it was really well done. Piqued my interest, and I'm like, I can't really think of any other hentai like this. Japan is really good at doing that, and then just fucking it all up right away. <laughs> oh yeah, and then just ruining yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's that one. I definitely worth a watch. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I think this was the one I, episode. Yeah, I think I think the episode first episode is worth a watch. Second and third episode a um, little too no, sadistic you're not, you're not yeah, watch for me. It. it goes, it loses that balance. But another show that is definitely worth a watch for no. a complete <sighs> opposite <sighs> reaction <sighs> is uh, my final one, which was uh, recommend a, a, a dubbed hentai that's actually good. Yes. And uh, man, it was so hard to just pick one. If I'm there being honest, there are a lot of good ones. There's a, a lot, lot, lot of, of them are ones. fantastic for for the wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. We're, we're gonna we're gonna end this on a good note. Yeah, Wait, no, I no, could, no, we have one more after this. Oh, yeah, yeah, but like you know, I could have recommended like you know classic. Going back to the classics, Bible Black dub, which is fucking mm. hilarious. Yeah, but I I think there's only one that it just just crowns at the top, and it's a little series called Sextra Credit. And uh, uh, this dub yeah. is the ghost stories of hentai. Like this, yes. this thing, this dub is absolutely incredible because of just how self-aware the script writers were. Yeah, and just yeah. how bad the show is. So I guess the original premise is that there's a teacher, mm. and originally the the high school um, principal was an old man. Yep, and he left and was replaced with an old female student council. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a, president whatever yeah so to look over the school mm. and he's fucking pissed about this because they don't like him mm. and so i guess the original plot because the the dub kind of just changed the entire plot you've seen the original plot uh, i i i was so confused by what i watched yeah. that i wanted to find out what it was actually because you could watching it you can tell yeah oh this isn't what it's supposed to be mm. and so i went up i went and researched what it was it was actually supposed to be yeah yeah and i found out that 
um, because the original was so actually disgusting. Mm -hmm. It's so gross mm. and it's so despicable. Like it's there's yeah. nothing redeeming about it. And they try and paint the main character as some kind of hero. Yeah. When yeah. all he's doing is um, R wording uh, all the people and doing horrific shit. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, and so when they got to the dub, they were like, fuck no. We're not, we're not doing it like this. Uh, we're gonna remake it and make this guy a fucking loser yeah, and make fun of everything. Everyone's a piece yeah. of shit. Cause this is, this is just fucking, this is gross. Like, yeah. and, and if we're gonna dub it, we may as well at least make it all fucking stupid. Yeah. It's so yeah. heinous. Yeah. Um, and so for some reason he wants to take revenge on all of them. Uh, and so he slowly does that one by one by blackmailing all of them mm -hmm. uh, into doing uh, things with him. Yep. And it slowly gets more sadistic as the show goes on. Yeah. Uh, but in the dub, it's not that at all. No. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, in fact, it is some of the funniest dialogue you'll ever see in yeah. so, any hentai. So, yeah. you, so you've probably seen on compilations like YouTube clips. And honestly, dude, watch that. Yep. Like I even watching the, the sex scenes in this did not, there was one or two more funny lines. Yeah. yeah. But the whole show was so gross mm. uh, that I just, <clears throat> honestly, the YouTube thing, just leave it at that. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, and it's funny for the wrong reasons. Like it's funny because he just says stupid shit and you can tell it's obviously parodying <laughs> the dumb shit in the show. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, the, the dialogue has definitely uh, not aged well. Let's just say that. Okay. Uh, let's just say, I remember the first scene yeah. uh, where the first scene is <laughs> basically just this group of girls, like just, Full on, like insulting this guy, right? Um, <laughs> which is, which I believe was, yeah. I think, not not what exactly happened in the original. I yeah, think. yeah, I don't think so. But it's just it's just these four or five girls I'm insulting gonna, these guys. I'm gonna pull guys. up some of the quotes. Yeah, uh, and I some uh, of them. the best way I can describe what they say is just these girls learn English from a Call of Duty lobby. Okay, that's that's kind of what is said in here. <laughs> my, my favorite one is, you have less spine than an earthworm. <laughs> no, you have less spine than a spina bifida victim. Yeah, spina bifida victim. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, uh, I, I, I would say a lot, a lot of language, uh, a lot of language used in this show has definitely not aged well. Yeah, this, um, this show came out in 2004. Uh, so yeah. it definitely uses some like Newgrounds comment section uh, levels of uh, language that cannot fly today. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a trip uh, and not a good one. Um, <laughs> even the dub is still just awful. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually, you know what? I was curious when I watched it. I was like, man, there's gotta be some funny reviews of this show. Yeah. And right. to my credit, there was um, on Amazon. On Amazon? <laughs> on Amazon. What, yeah, someone's could, buying you, the you DVD? You could buy the DVD on Amazon. Oh shit. <laughs> and okay. there was some funny uh, reviews if I, uh, recall correctly. Why is it trying to change my location? Oh yeah, because <laughs> Amazon US. Hold on, let me go in a incognito tab. Let me open up these reviews. Right. There, <laughs> there was, there was, <laughs> there was, uh, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, and the, the headline of this is, properly describe your stock. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of five stars. Okay. My main problem with this film that is improperly described is listed. You would think that this is a variation of harem style. However, it is about as far from that as possible. This is a R slash revenge fantasy title. And there was nothing to indicate that. If you were into that type of story, it works just fine. However, this would be vastly improved if it was indicated as such. I would not buy it again because I believe that the customer should know what they are getting, especially in the field of hentai. And there's some other stuff too. You know too. what? Valid, valid argument. My, my guy asked for like tags. Yeah. My guy was like, yo, where are the tags, he was man? Like, he was like, where's yeah. the source? Yeah, where's the source for this? Someone also said, four stars, sweetheart. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, another one said, uh, a decent animation. Uh, another one said, exactly as described, five stars. Um, <laughs> okay. Standard review section. Yeah. Okay, okay. Someone said, he loved sex to credit on DVD and he want more. Who is he? This is a guy from the UK as well. I don't know who this is. You, the, you, you know, if, if you start talking in third person, that's a yeah. red flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I just, I, I feel like this is like whoever got their, whoever got their hands on a license for this one has just lived my dream. Cause I've like- This is what I wish I could have done. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. I wish I could do Cause you like know, 100%, if you watch this, some of the lines that are said, it is the script writing, uh, the script writers having as much fun as possible. Oh, they yeah. are, they do not hold back uh, with the jokes. 
Because there is, there ain't no, if, if you actually jacked off to this, I'd be more impressed if you jacked off to this than some of the <laughs> other end time. Because you got you, how are you going to stop yourself from laughing? Yeah. It's, it's like trying to jack off to an Adam Sandler film. It's like, <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> like, you can't do it. You'd just yeah. be laughing the whole time. There was, there was one scene where, and also, man, were these teachers weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, there's this one scene where I guess the teacher is just having orgies <laughs> with all the students. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he films it, and then that's what he uses to get her to do stuff with him. Yeah. And then there's another thing where, <laughs> I just like, he did, I, I don't know what the vial is supposed to be in the, in the Japanese one. Yeah. yeah. He whips out a vial of red liquid, okay. and in the English dub, and, he, and he's gonna pour it on the girl's area mm -hmm. of, right. uh, of interest, let's mm. say. And in the English dub, he refers to it as barbecue sauce with Tabasco. <laughs> and I think it's supposed to be something else in the Japanese one. And I don't dare go to watch it because I actually don't want to find out what it's supposed to yeah. be. Um, what if you go to the Japanese one and he's just like, Tabasco to barbecue yeah, sauce. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. I put extra fucking Tabasco in this one. And then he says a line that, I genuinely like broke me yeah. and he goes, there's so much barbecue sauce inside of you. What you, it was something like, if you had a corn on the cob inside of you now, it'd be a complete barbecue or something, <laughs> or something like that. And it was just like, what the fuck is this That's dialogue? Brilliant. Oh man. That's okay, so, so you've watched, you've watched, you've watched the uh, sub of this, right? So there's- uh, I know, I, I watched the dub. So watched I don't, dub. I don't have subtitles. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so you watch the uh, raw. So no, I, I went to go and read the premise of what it was, and right, I watched right. it two minutes, and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> okay, this is so gross. Because, because, yeah. because one thing that I I was confused about about the plot of this, right, is you know the first girl, uh, the the first girl that he finds, um, and uh, and uh, he. I guess violates. Yeah. Um, she ends up just like doing joining a 180, 180 and just immediately joining him. Yeah, I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah. And obviously the dub makes fun of this, right? Because yeah. it's fucking ridiculous. And why, like in the dub, they just goes, why did you sodomize me or something like, or something like that. It's so bad. No, and, then, and then there's the scene of them like sitting on the bed and, and she's like hearing all of his frustrations. Yeah. <laughs> He says a line that just fucking killed me. He was just like, wow, you're really understanding for someone who just got our word. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. It's just so, it's, it's like, oh I, I, you, like without knowing the story, like yeah. you, I think even as like the dub alone is still gross. Yeah. yeah. Like it, the, the show is actually so vile yeah. Yeah. Um, in general yeah. that I think, even if just seeing the dub, it still doesn't do it justice. But then knowing the context as to why they changed all the lines yeah. makes me just think that these dudes are giga chats. Oh, like they yeah. just saw this terrible, gross yeah. product and they were like, let, I do not want to give, I do not want to appeal to this fantasy. Let's yeah, just yeah. let's just fuck it up and let's just make fun of all of this. Yeah, I do not want anyone to get bonus for yeah, this. Let's no, make fun of let's it. just no. let's just make everyone there's laugh. There's a reason why there's a, a hilarious compilation of all of the dumb yeah. Because yeah. Out, of context, out of context, it's insane. Yeah. Out of context, it is so like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> there are there, there are like so there are so many like golden lines in this. I, th I think another one. <laughs> I think another one was just, which is just like, this is what Andrew Tate sees in his mind eyes, in his, yeah. in his mind's eye, which is, I'm a man with a set of balls and I demand to be treated with respect. Yeah. <laughs> that made me laugh so fucking much. It's, it's a tagline yeah, of AlphaCon. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of the only ones I genuinely recommend you watching, if not just for like the YouTube compilation. Don't watch the set, just, just watch the just YouTube. Just watch the YouTube compilation. It's, I think it's called, so this is the greatest hentai dub of all time. Yeah. This yeah. is the greatest dub of all time. Yeah. It's so, yeah. the, out of context, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, but in context, it's just sad. Yeah, it's, shit. it's, 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 it's a sad. shit show that some someone just went, you know what? I'm actually going to make this somewhat enjoyable. And yeah. you know what? I think they did a pretty, 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 pretty okay. They, job to, they they salvaged like a, a car crash, uh, going into a, a group of orphans uh, on a plane that's crashing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they were like, at least we salvaged the steering wheel. You yeah, know? Like, like, yeah. like, all right, we managed to land the plane. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which leads us now to uh, the final show that uh, I guess we force ourselves to watch: the goat, if you will, <laughs> the goat, <laughs> the I, classic. I think the milf manor is worse than this. Okay. Yeah. I think so for me. Yeah, this one okay. hurt the most. Mm. So, so 
Euphoria is one of the most like infamous yes, anime absolutely. that has uh oh I should say hentai that has been released. It's a visual novel first. Yeah, right? it was it was a visual novel first. And <laughs> I remember like watching this. Like it, this was this was that one anime that everyone recommended to you if you were like on in like online back in like 2000, like the mid 2000s anime. It started, boom, right? it started with Boku no Pico. Yeah. And after that craze died down, craze died down. Yeah. And everyone was like, all right, we got to find another one to, to troll the unexpected with. Yeah. And then some genius was like, I yeah. saw, I found this show called Euphoria. Yeah. Still one of my, one of my favorite Twitter threads to this day is uh, the first time that Sydney discovered Euphoria. This was <laughs> back before she did YouTube. This was back before she was the queen of degeneracy. Yeah. I remember one day she was just, uh, she, we, we were in Sydney's, we were in Sydney's room and she was like, have you had this thing called Euphoria? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and why, she was, why do you say that? Honey? Why, why do you ask? Why'd you ask? And she was like, people People keep recommending it to me. Why do people keep recommending it to me? And I was like, oh, it looks, uh, it's a pretty infamous anime and uh, it's a pretty infamous game as yeah. well. And she goes, oh, why is it infamous? And I was like, ha, don't worry about it, honey. Yeah. And then so what I, what she, and then she decides out of like curiosity, oh, I'll just download the visual novel and play the visual novel. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, you should, uh, you should uh, tweet your live thoughts on it, honey. Uh, let's let's see, let's see what you think. Yeah. And she played the visual novel. Yeah, she it. played the visual Isn't novel. Isn't that shit like 30 hours long? It's longer than that. Yeah. I've played it as well. Yeah. It's so like, you played it? Yeah, it's, it, I got curious, man. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Is this supposed to make sense from the, the anime alone? No. Cause I, I swear bro, I tried and I don't know what was happening. Bro, I've watched this so many times, more than yeah. I'm You've played it, right? Does, and the, I've does played the game make the ga sense? No. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Like, it's, it's not supposed to make, I'm not dumb. Like it's yeah. not supposed to make sense. It, it I, I guess in the creator's minds, it's supposed to make sense. But like, I played the visual novel. I've seen the hentai more times than I'm proud to say. And I'm just like, still don't get it. Yeah, I understood serial experiments lean better than so I, did I managed to figure out uh, in the second episode that I was kind of watching different endings, kind of different, different routes. routes. Yeah, yeah. So like routes. it was like, but it was like it was like the abridged version of the routes and then the ending. That K kind like, of yes, it was weird because it yeah. was like I was like, man, I feel like we're just going through the motions, and it's also not clear what's happening so, a lot so of the time. So technically speaking, it's like the first four episodes are the different routes you can go on with yeah. like the different girls. And then episode five is the bad end. And episode six, which is the final episode, is the true end. I thought it was the other way around. I, I thought it was the other way I, around. I, the other I way around? Thought I, I, episode I, five I, was I thought, the better I, of the two. I, I thought every episode had the good end for each girl. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes the bad, I don't know. It's, it's I, like- I don't, To be honest, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, so so to explain the basic premise of this. Yeah, I guess we should do that. Yeah, we, yeah. Should, we should do that before we get into like um, <laughs> theories. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna break it down today, guys. And that's yeah. just a theory, a euphoria theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for jacking. So uh, it's very, very similar to, I guess, any kind of like death game or saw or that kind of premise, okay? It's hentai squid games. <laughs> no, it's, it's hentai saw. It's hentai saw, it is, it is. But more so, deranged. Yeah. So yeah, so what happens is this guy wakes up in a completely white room with, I think like four or five, six girls, five, five, girls, oh, actually, five girls. Seven, six originally. Okay. And then one of them refuses to participate. Oh, oh yeah. that's with, right, yeah. With, with six girls. And uh, he basically has to uh, get out of this room by performing various acts to a girl of his choosing. Mm -hmm. And obviously some of these acts can, <laughs> Uh, range from, I was gonna say pretty vanilla stuff. Uh, yeah, pretty like comparatively light stuff. Like, oh, just uh, put on a sexy like BDSM outfit and uh, go hard. Mm. Uh, and some uh, like- uh, just, I'm just saw contraptions. Some just saw contraptions like, oh, just be a human toilet. And yeah. I'm not going to explain what that is, yeah. but- uh, you Yeah, can... they already glossed over that in the fucking show. That's yeah. episode thank, two, baby. Thank, thank, thankfully, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. Um, and if they don't do it, then they die. So yeah, so they have a, they all have these collars, I guess. That are mind control. Yeah, yeah, which mind control, and also I guess if I remember correctly, like if they don't 
do what the the, the, the master, you know, the, the, the game master says, then like, I think they explode or they like cut yeah. your head off or something. It's something like that. Basically, yeah, they have this thing that's attached to their neck that they can't get rid of. So yeah. they're basically at the will of the game master. Yeah. yeah. So so before we get into too deeply into this, how many episodes did you watch of Euphoria? Uh, I, I sat down and actually watched fully uh, one all and six, it? but oh, I skimmed through all of them. So like, I, I, I sat there and I was like, mm, okay, all right, all right, get it, get it, all right, okay. all right. All right. So I, I kind of watched most of it. I mean, you didn't watch episode five, which- I, I did watch episode five and yeah. I was very confused. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Episode five is actually like I watch, you know, because I, I I actually ended up rewatching all of it because I was I watched episode I watched episode one and I'm like I need to refresh myself. I watched episode five and I was like, am I just like ha I, has it just been a super long time since I watched this? Maybe I just need to watch the previous episodes for context. So no, I it ended didn't up help. I ended up watching every episode. I was like. That didn't help at all. No. Like, holy shit, episode five, I think, is the end of Ava for fuck for, for Henta. <laughs> like, this this shit made no sense. This shit made no sense. Do yeah, you know? and it was like in one episode, certain characters would be evil and good. Yeah. And the next episode yeah. they would swap. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why can we explain these things? Yeah. And it was just bad. Yeah. Like it was just shit. Yeah. Like I, I don't even think it was like as gross as some other stuff. Like I think I think the the maid mansion one was grosser for me. It I was, know. but I think the one thing that to this day, no matter how many times I watch it, that just pisses me off about Euphoria is that, god damn, it's so well animated. Yeah. Well, it, the first episode and the second episode were okay. No, they but then all, it went off a cliff. No, it they was, were all well animated. I thought it was worse animation at the end. I I, th I thought it was pretty pretty good. It's pretty Marco. consistent. Ep episode three, through. a damn good animation. Yeah. I think here's 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 the fucked up thing, right? Here's 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 the fucked up thing. Um, obviously the um the premise is fucked up and mm -hmm. everything. Of course. Okay. There are some scenes that is just uh, not safe for life. I will not touch with a ten foot barge pole. Mm. Uh, the, the worst thing about Euphoria is that every so often they'll sprinkle in what I think is a actually pretty good scene. <laughs> like what? Give me an example. Give me an example. Like what? Like yeah, it's an example of a scene. There is there is a scene at the end of like episode three where mm. it's like uh, the main guy and the girl with like yeah. You know, um, the emotionless girl, right? Oh the, yes, the, the yes, Westerner yeah. one. The, the, yes, the yes, Westerner yes, yes. one, yeah. And they and, then, and they just have like I would say a pretty va pretty vanilla sex scene. Is that the one in the bed, right? With the, bedroom. the bed, yeah. with the bedroom. Yeah, and that, I, yeah. And I'm like, damn, she 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 goes from being oh, a no, she, it's not the Western one. It's the other one. It's the it's the long haired girl, like yeah, uh, yeah. And then yeah. she gets like pregnant and shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll we'll get to that. No, no, no. This is this was before I found out the plot twist of who this girl was. Yeah. But let's say no, no, no. All all I'm all I'm saying. Oh, is, I just realized who she was. <laughs> yeah. Because I connected the dots to what they said in the last episode. Yeah, she's <clears> the girl <throat> in episode three. Yeah. 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 Wait, that's like how many years apart is that then? Okay. That, that's just the theory. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so how many years are they trapped in this fucking sex game? Like, we like, don't know. like 10 fucking years? I don't think it's ever stated. Yeah, it's, it's, it's never stated. What what I don't get is that like, this dude is the embodiment of like, there are two wolves inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> and except, <laughs> except both the wo wolves want to do this, our word to people. Yes. This is this dude is literally Ken Kaneki if he was a hentai protagonist, <laughs> you know? It's like, it was like, so confusing all the time figuring out what was real and what wasn't. Yeah. Because it would be like, this is real. No, this wasn't. This was real. No, this is what. Yeah, they tried to do like a Millennium Actress thing where yeah, it's just yeah. like, you I, don't know if it's real or not. Yeah. It was so shit. It was, it was shit. I, I, I don't even, they like, this is just boring. It was boring as well. I actually thought there was- I wouldn't say it's boring. I, I wouldn't say it's boring. I thought there was some scenes I thought was pretty, I, okay. I, I really liked Nemu. I don't know why. Uh, the first episode the girl. First, the first episode girl. So, uh, the, well, yeah, but I mean, isn't she in all of them? She's not the main focus of all Right, right, yeah. you liked her in the first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's it's episode one and episode five, she's like the main, mm. yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So I, I remember the first time watching Euphoria, I'm like, man, she has a shit eating grin. And I was like, oh, oh. Oh, okay. I did. I, I, I didn't mean it literally. Like, oh, oh, oh. I was not prepared for. Yeah, uh, when I when I saw that, I was like, God, what the fuck? Yeah. So yeah. episode five, they do like what I can only describe as human centipede. Oh, this Euphoria did human centipede like years before human centipede became like a meme. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I definitely and, skipped over that. Yeah, I because I remember I think I saw a glimpse of it. and I was like, nope. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even gonna watch this. Yeah, yeah. So like. 
I don't know why the story became so confusing. Um, but the basic premise is every, in every episode, there's a different girl with a different, who I'm guessing they follow a different route. Yeah. And, some, and, so, and sometimes you get a happy ending and sometimes you get a glimpse of the bad endings mm, as well. Mm. But then they decide to put both in one episode. And that's, that was what was confusing to yeah, me. Yeah, it's really fucking confusing. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. Because then uh, in episode six, they bring out this like cult. Sex cult. That like, comes out of nowhere. Yeah. You're like actually above ground is where yeah. we have the cult and below ground is where yeah. you guys are. And yeah. yeah. See, like, what? see I, I, I thought, I thought being a fate fan, I can, I can keep track of convoluted timelines and I watch Euphoria and I'm like, oh, I know nothing. Did this only this get like popular because of the centipede thing? No, it got popular, I think because it, because I think like when you look at just the surface of it, the art is really nice. The character designs are really nice. Yeah. The, the premise is like, I think when Euphoria came out, there was very few hentai that had a premise as just openly as fucked up as that. Right, okay. right. One thing, one thing also, because a lot of the hentai we watched today uh, for this episode, they were like 15 minutes long. Yeah. And I was like watching, rewatching all of Euphoria. I was like, God damn, I miss when hentai were one, half an hour in length and two were like more than two episodes. Yeah, rewatching all of Euphoria after all the other ones we watched was like, yeah watching the fucking Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, God damn, this is long. It was too long. It was way too long. <laughs> like, I have I three wanted, hours of this I, show, I, I Jesus. It to end 10 minutes in. I was yeah. like, God. <laughs> oh, so I, oh. So I got two and a half hours of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Did you not even like the teacher at all? The, little, the little... teacher was, uh, you fucker. You knew I was going to like the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the teacher was the most uh, appealing to me, but yeah. I, you know, I, it's just weird. I just didn't. I didn't want to, I, he didn't deserve it. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. I don't yeah. know about that. Yeah. What do you mean he didn't deserve it? As in, like, he didn't deserve any any able to do anything. He should have just died, like right away. Well, <laughs> would have been a lot shorter. It would have been the yeah. story at all. Uh, yeah, yeah. It would have been good. It would have been ended. <laughs> Maybe he'd have been like, you know what? I respect these women. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And then they just all die, and it's like, cool. Yeah. Better so, than what happened. So what I th what I think was like the weirdest plot twist was actually in episode six where we go to the sex cults because mm. we had like the human centipede thing, and obviously that's fucked up. Mm. Um, I, I don't know what is they decided to put that in, but yeah. obviously, like I, I believe the human centipede was made as a concept because they were thinking about how best to punish like sexual predators or something like that. Right. So the fact that someone in Japan made this to think that people would jack off to this, that disturbs me more. Yeah, you know? yeah. that disturbs me more. Uh, and then in, in episode six, we find out that one of the girls who he has been, one of the girls who he has been having sex with, um, the one in episode three, turns out that she's the daughter of um, the leader of this sex cult who, uh, who the main guy impregnated years ago. So essentially <laughs> this girl is just his daughter. Yeah, yeah. This guy, yeah. this guy is just his daughter. And, and and now that I realize that, literally just like five minutes ago, it's so nasty yeah. that episode. <laughs> And, and it's and it's extra disturbing to think that episode three, which involves the daughter, yeah. is probably the most wholesome episode is, in the entire it series. It is probably the most wholesome episode and the one where you get the most vanilla sex scene yeah. and you're just like, oh, wait, oh, oh no, oh God. But then it also confused me when I found out about that plot and I was thinking back to episode three and like all the other previous episodes and I'm yeah. like, how old is this? Yeah, dude? it doesn't make yeah. any. Fucking he looks it makes, like it makes no sense. He looks fifteen. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Yeah. It does. It literally makes no sense chronologically. Yeah, yeah. like it's not possible. Did, like, did he fuck her in a hyperbolic time chamber? Like, what? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. the only explanation. Maybe they're in a world where like boys start puberty at age one. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I don't. I don't understand how this is possible. Like, it doesn't make fucking sense, and I'm glad it doesn't because it's fucking stupid. See, see what what I was thinking. Here's here's my. I, here's, I had paused it and started doing the math. I was like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> here's here's my theory. Okay, here's my theory because there's this really weird, they do a fucking Marvel 
post credit scene in episode two, which is, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't I don't know I why. See this. <laughs> yeah, probably because yeah. you skipped it. They did this really weird thing in, uh, at the end of episode two, where Nemu comes in dressed like a scientist and one of the girls in like a virtual reality, like got a, got a VR headset. On, right. And it kind of frames the entire thing as like an experiment. Right. So I don't, maybe all this thing is just happening in his mind. Maybe all VR. this thing is a VR uh, experiment. Does that make it less fucked up or is it still fucked up? <laughs> Because <laughs> they still animated it. <laughs> okay, it's it's still fucked up. It's because fucked you know up. why? Do you know why? Because like they give, they frame episode six. They frame the entire episode as a good ending. Of, yeah, which is yeah. Weird. awesome ending. And do you know what the fucking good ending is? He has two children with his daughter. That is the good ending. Yeah. That is the vanilla ending. <laughs> that is that yeah. is the vanilla ending of Euphoria. Um. And I, yeah, I, I don't know if, if that's if that's vanilla. What the hell is the bad ending? Is what I want to know. It felt like a like a sh like a, a hentai plot written by a four channer, and it somehow just got uh, like approved. <laughs> like that's what it felt like. Like it felt like a just a like a rookie. I don't know. Maybe it's good because when I was looking on YouTube, I was like, I need someone to explain this. Somebody had like a forty five minute video being like, why. Euphoria is actually a masterpiece. Yeah, like it wasn't- yeah. I was it like, was, fuck off. It wasn't, I didn't even count it as like the good ending. It's just the lesser bad ending. Yeah. Right, or, or I guess the true ending, I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll say the episode that pissed me off the most. Episode five, which you kind of skimmed yeah, through. Yeah, well, I saw the ending of that yeah. and I was like, what? Yeah, so episode the episode five genuinely, <laughs> this is why it's the end. Like, this is why it's the end of a for of like hand cycles. This dude is literally Shinji. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this dude is literally Shinji. So what happens is like in episode five, they reveal, I guess, who the main mastermind of the games are. Yeah, And so she comes out, she reveals herself and she's like- Cause they escape. Yeah, cause they, they, yeah. they somehow, one of the tiles is loose and there's an underground tunnel they get yeah. out and they get yeah. into a school. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. she reveals herself. She reveals herself and she she's like, I'll give you the option. You either kill me or kill Nemu, who is the main girl of that show yeah. or all of the other girls die and I'm gonna continue killing people until you choose to either kill me or kill that girl. Yeah. And he's like, I don't want to. Yeah. And it's the, it's the childhood friend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the childhood the main friend. character. It's yeah. the childhood so friend. It's, like, it's, it's like, the girl like, in episode yeah. two. So yeah. you, could, you could either kill a murderer or somebody who's not a murderer. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and, 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 I, and it was literally just the fucking Shinji get in the robot moment of just like, just do it. I'm like, fucking do it. The choice is so obvious, no matter yeah. who you ask. Yeah. And he just happens to pick <laughs> the worst choice. <laughs> he makes the worst choice of doing nothing. And then what happens is that she proceeds to take out his three of the other girls and he just, they, she just decapitates them yeah. in front of him. And then he's still like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do You're it. You're still my childhood friend. <laughs> we, we've been good friends. This is not the girl you are. I know you're I better than- I can fix you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, then, and then they proceed to do the human centipede thing. And yeah. then the worst part is he fucking ejaculates during the human centipede yeah. moment. I, I, that was a missed. Uh, that was that was a moment that I had blacked out from my memory. And then and then and then after that, he the girl drugs the main guy and Nemu. Yeah, with some kind of like sex craze drug or something. Yeah, and and then at the end of it all, he just snaps her neck mid sex, and I'm like. Dude, I didn't you see this part. Every, yeah. every option you have done this entire way has just gotten worse and worse and worse. There was one scene I was confused by where yeah. like, I think she shot Nemu with yeah. an imaginary gun or something and she just dies. Oh yeah. Oh, the okay. Teacher, yeah, yeah, the yeah, the teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to escape. Yeah. yeah. She pulls out a gun, like a finger gun. They're like, ha ha. And then it cuts to another shot of her holding a gun. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it's all a simulation. That's right? why I was like, this is some virtual reality yeah. shit going on, man. I'm waiting for like, I was waiting for like that big plot twist drop, and then mm. it just never happened. No, they, they gave yeah. us the plot twist drop, but they all, but they just didn't explain the twist. Yeah, shit. So I, I, shit. I think the reason why this got so popular is because back in the day, um, this was just at the time one of the most messed up hentai mm. that yeah. was available, and yeah. also really one thing is that. You know, we, we are shitting on the story, but they actually had a, they they put a lot of thought into this story. They, they it was sh shit. It just didn't go in the right place. It was, yeah. it was shit, but- the, the effort was there, the yeah. execution was not. I, I remember the first, do, 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 you know, do you know my first experience with Euphoria? Mm. It wasn't even like, I didn't start with episode one. 
Uh, it was actually episode three, and I, right. and I remember, I remember like looking at the art style. I was like, "Oh, this looks, this looks pretty good." All yeah. right, all right, let's let's see what this is about. L- clicks, epi- like clicks, uh, clicks an episode of this uh, this video, which turns out to be episode of episode three of Euphoria. I yeah. got click baited by the fucking thumbnail. I yeah. was like, "Oh, okay, let's see what this is about." The first scene is a girl getting decapitated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I have never, I, my penis has never gone flaccid so fast. Holy shit. Dude, you just got lime wired. Yeah, I did, I did. It, it I was, just starts with, I have not had sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was my very first experience with euphoria. So, oh, I'm so like that, that was like, I, so after that I was I you know, I, I wasn't even in the mood anymore, but I needed to Google what the fuck this was. Yeah. And that's, that's how I discovered. And still um, talked about to this day, man. And it's, it is still talked about to this day as yeah. uh, one of the most infamous, uh, one of the most infamous visual novels and anime to be made. Yeah. The thing I will say is that I feel like now the visual novel is still like way worse. Yeah. So I feel like oh, they, yeah. they glossed over some of the most messed up scenes from the visual novel. I'm good. Like the, like the human toilet. And I'm apparently- Because there are multiple human toilets. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. I'm gonna skip yeah, the don't, visual novel. Yeah, don't bother, yeah. don't bother. Yeah, don't. Um, this is the one time where I'm jealous you don't like visual novels. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Never you know what? Like, if, yeah. I, if I hated it just as much as you, I probably you, would've- Where do you even get this visual novel? Like I assume Steam isn't selling it. <laughs> It's like, yo, that was an 80% off on Euphoria, dog. Yeah, like, I'm sure yeah. this is not like readily available. How did you even get this? Oh, it's, it's legally available. What? Yeah, yeah I, th- I think uh, I think Sydney owns an official copy, and I think what? you can download it legally as well if you're uh, if you're interested. Just watch uh, Sydney's oh, video of Euphoria. Oh my mm. goodness! Oh my. <laughs> Yeah. There's 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 a there's a lot of websites that sell like uh, even really really old uh, like eras and visual novels that are properly licensed by the creators, but mm-hmm. it's all just like digitally. Um, that's how I got my hands on most of them. So yeah. I, I wow. paid for mine, and I'm that's what I got. Sad. So yeah. yeah. Did you know what I've realized after watching all of these hentai? I mm. can't jack off anymore. <laughs> Apart from that, yes. <laughs> what I just like I want I want an actual protagonist that is. Like interesting for fuck's sake. Every, every protagonist that in this in these hentai's are like the biggest betas of all time. Yeah, the just, biggest herb. We can't have like Johnny Sins just yeah. star on one of these hentai. Yeah, That'd yeah. Be I, nice. I I want a Chad who is likable. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because like, every Chad in hentai is just the, the NTR. most the most detestable human. Yeah, the, the NTR guy. Yeah, like the only hentai I can think of that. I mean. I, I, w- I don't know if I'd call him a Chad, but at least he's like, at least mildly charming mm-hmm. is Rance. Oh yeah, Rance, Rance is the closest we'll get to a protagonist where I'm like, yeah. you know what? He's an ass, he's still an asshole. You're but an you asshole, know, but you know what? God damn, you're a lovable asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that was uh, that was a journey. We uh, spent yeah. an entire day watching oh god, watching seven time. hentai that we definitely do not recommend anyone. Yes, and, should and watch if you and if the curiosity all. gets the best of you with anything that we say in this video, we hold zero responsibility. That's yeah. that is up to you to decide. We told you to not watch it, yeah. and you didn't listen to us. There's, there there is one thing I will say though. Uh, because you know we're probably gonna title this, title this, you know, watch uh, watching like the most cursed hentai or yeah. something like that. I know there is always going to be that one comment that is just like, that's not fucked up. You, you guys are weak for being fucked for thinking that's fucked up. That's not cursed. Yeah. I, I'll show you something cursed, and I'm like, that I I've I've seen this co- I've seen this kind of comment so many times, yeah. and I'm like, what game are you trying to win? Yeah, here? yeah. What are you proud I, of? I don't, yeah, that's not something to brag about. Yeah, yeah. Because like you've seen this like with threads of like fucked up movies or anything, yeah. and it just it, it gets to the point where like the final stage is just like snuff films or some shit. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, why why do you want to be emotionally distant to some of these things? You know, yeah. that's yeah. just I'm, don't just don't watch any of these. I'm glad that I am disturbed by some of the things we watched because that means that. That I'm probably still saying in the head. Yeah, you know? like yeah, why are you disturbing. trying to get bragging rights to <laughs> something that just is gonna result in you having no yeah. friends? Because because like, like. The, fi- <laughs> the final level of this is just something so messed up yeah. and so fucked up that you are probably gonna have to call the police. You know, that's, yeah. there is there is no winning to this game. No. Yeah. No, um, I so I was gonna say that before we get that comment because I guarantee we are uh, someone course. someone was gonna type that out. Of course. 
Um, are we thought yeah. that these were all very cursed and these are gross. Up. Yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend watching any of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We just tortured each other for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> so we hate That's each other. We but we, but we hope it was entertaining for you yeah. guys. But uh, hey, look at all these patrons though. Yeah. You guys, fortunately or unfortunately, got to watch this episode uncensored with the clips we talked about. Yeah. And uh, if you're, if you know what, if you're curious, instead of going out to watch these shows, why not support the boys in the meantime by yeah. going over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. You can get access to the uncensored version of this episode and supporting us in the process. Support, Thank you know, pay for our mental health. Thank you to the patrons for funding our therapists. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I can say. But uh, hey, if you cool enjoyed show. it, again, go to our Patreon. Also follow us on the subreddit, send us your memes on the Twitter. And if you had our face, listen to us on Spotify. <gasps> I, I need to lie down after this one. <laughs> I need to lie down yeah. as well. All right, <laughs> see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.